got a little uh, cooking accident there, but still a very nice shirt. I actually bought her for her today. Do you want to show them your pants while we're waiting for more people? People that were there first, they see your pants. Oh, no, hold on. <clears throat> there you go. Okay. We're going to need that first before I go. There you go. Show your pants. The best are my socks. I have Mickey on them, and then I got one in the socks. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Looking good. <sighs> I, I personally have my Mickey shirt, and if you look, those are Mickey hands. So what everywhere. you don't know yeah. <laughs> is he actually has a button up with the exact same pattern on it. Yeah, I tried to look to wear them at the same time because that's a little too much. It is so, a little much. While we are waiting for a little bit more people, story time. Let me tell you what happened on Sunday, Saturday morning. So we had plans to actually go to Nakuru at the cliff because so many people told us to go to the cliff. It looks it's phenomenal. Always booked when we it's drive. literally always booked. Yes. And for once, I was able to get a last minute booking, literally booked on Friday afternoon. And they were like, yeah, we have a tent left. I was like, done, yeah. taking it, paid for it and everything. And then we're like, because of the rally, going up, uh, you know, crossing through Navasha, it's going to be hell. So we're going to leave super early. We literally left at like 6 a.m. I did tell you we should leave at 5. But like, yeah. Oh, wow. You were right. You were right. You were right. Yeah, because you never tell me. I'm so anyway, I didn't think it was going to be that bad, to be honest. Yeah. But we we took the, the A104, which we never do because normally we take the... the it's like my mom. Something like, you guys know like where are. all the trucks are. It's like yeah. on the edge and on the cliff and whatever with the yeah. view and whatever. But we took the A104 and it went well. Like, we did, like, you know, we drove. We got out. two, two and a half hours. Yeah, GPS two and a half hours remember. away from Nairobi. And then, at some point, it slows down. So, like, I'm stuck in a little bit of traffic. I'm like, doesn't seem like it's moving. So, you know, like a, a true Kenyan driver, I turn left into the ditch and, like, you know, try to go around oh, the traffic. The exactly, because I'm, I'm, like, I'm a tattoo driver now. So anyway, but like even in the ditch at some point, there's like three extra lane in the ditch and it's blocked. There's buses in the ditch. There's like a bunch of cars. And I'm going to say I'm very <clears throat> thankful for this because we, as soon as we hit that part where we weren't moving, we didn't even stay five minutes. Normally we would stay like, yeah, we, we, we waited, yeah, maybe five minutes. Maybe. But as soon as we saw the guy in the truck in front of yeah. us turn off his vehicle and everyone get out of the vehicle. Yeah, people were like literally sitting on top of their cars, walking around the buses and yeah. people from the buses were actually getting out of the bus and it was like quite something. So I was like, yeah, we get a turn around because like There's if you wait, yeah, if us. you wait too long, you're going to get boxed in. And I was already in the ditch, so I couldn't turn around to the right to like actually go back on the, the proper lane. So now I was like going against the traffic in the ditch, like a, a like a true Matatu driver. I, I should do that. That would be such a cool video one day. Driving a Matatu? Matatu driver for a day. This white dude driving a Matatu for a day. That would be sick. What did they say? Like a towel or towel? Tao, 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 tao. Yeah, tao, 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 tao. But I'd be actually driving and Tracy would be like hanging off the Matatu saying ta 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 and get people oh my god that would go viral. So <clears throat> if you own a Matatu, hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's up in the chat? Um, not too much. Someone said, I'm glad you guys made it home since I was driving. <laughs> yes. Yeah, today if you guys follow us on Instagram. No, no, no. Almost. Um, I was like, Tracy was trying to like go from zero to into a hill going up in second, and I was like, that's not normal. Because like, our, <laughs> our old cars, the, the, that's why I'm not used to it. Yeah, BMW. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So, that's what I'm saying, it's like <laughs> habit, I'm not used to it. Well, like, okay, that's, that's a 94 Land Rover. Yeah. But anyway, just by the way, if any of you guys got stuck in that crazy traffic on the A104, let us know, I'm just curious, because I'm not sure... Bad. I'm not sure how long it took because like I saw because yesterday we went to um, Nairobi Street Kitchen finally it was awesome by the way um, and at you know around supper time people apparently were still there because I was looking at people on like Twitter Last and I was seeing people, people still, still posting photos of it so I assumed that they were yeah. actually still there so if you were stuck in there or if you know at what time the, the traffic kind of <laughs> I don't want to say that word but on uh, itself <laughs> Um. <laughs> Somebody said, Jay said it was worse today. 
Well, quite well, possible because yeah. like so many people were in Nebasha coming back. Yeah, but I, I, I wonder if they even got it cleared. Because from what I understood, like it was like one of the biggest jams they've had in a long time. I don't know. It was quite something. It really was. We've got some hi from Quebec, hi from Chicago. <clears throat> Bonjour Quebec, hello Chicago. See, I'm so international. Um, so I'm going to get in touch with Matawana. Matawana? Does he have to sure. If you're serious yeah, yeah, yeah. So I actually, I actually already spoke with um, the tattoo culture, but um, never about driving one. Because <laughs> the tattoo culture is like they're they're quite something. Like they were uh, like people from the states came in uh, in Kenya like maybe two three years ago. I think to do a documentary on them and everything. Like they, I, I watch it. It's quite, yeah. it's quite something. <clears throat> um. Okay. So we've got. A comment, and then I'm going to go back up to a question here. So someone said, I was stuck in Navasha from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. I found, wow. just hold on, I found people who were there since 9 a.m. It was 11 o'clock. So basically, we were there at 9 a.m. Yeah. Like, that was us. That would have been us. But we were like, let's turn around. I, Before this gets The started. fun part is, is like, I did not see a lot of people turning around. I was the only crazy person because driving I in the ditch like, against the I traffic. I feel like we were at, like, the, like the front of it. You know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like it wasn't so, too much further, yeah. and that's why. Yeah. Um, if I would have listened to Tracy and left at 5 a.m., we probably would have made it through. But you know what? It's not, it's not, I'm not mad about it because we were going to the cliff and we were kind of sad to go there for only one night. Yeah. Because it's like, a last minute thing. We feel like we need two nights. But we there. really want to go there for two nights, so. Um, what is your honest perception of Kenya based on the experience of getting stuck in that crazy traffic? Same um, thing. It's. There's a there's a lack of rules. Uh, that, uh, I would say that I would say enforcement and compliance. Well, there's no rules. Like there's if there's no enforcement, there's no rules. Like you know, like at some point, the big problem is everyone is like for themselves. So and, that is and especially like the matatus, like it's not it's not a it's not a secret. At the same time, like driving a matatu is a hustle. Like the faster you go and the, the faster you can go around traffic and people and cars and whatever, the yeah. more money you make. So I completely understand like the motivation behind it. But by cutting people all the time, and then you cut people over past people, then there's trucks coming, then it creates a block, right? So because they're all like for themselves, yeah. that's what's creating the, the main problem yeah it really um, is but i mean like it's you know it's in the culture like driving in kenya but, is different than yeah. anywhere else and it's it's ingrained in people like yeah. it's not gonna like it, it would take a lot to, to change that but it's gotten to the point too <clears> that like now i don't even think twice like my book bag always has like a big bag of nuts and protein bars and water yeah like a big four liter of water just, just in case we get because there's been two times yeah. that we've been like oh like yeah I yes it could have been that like we could have been yeah. stuck there for like 12 hours yeah um that's why i'm saying it would have it would have made that. like quite a unique vlog i would have totally being stuck there i would have like Vlog that thing oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I would have put the drone up, show you guys the situation, like you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, watching from San Francisco, been to several of your favorite safari spots, and we'll return soon. Ooh, that's, that's awesome. Well, we we went to San Francisco and probably a few of your favorite restaurants there. Matachi <laughs> <laughs> um, drivers have a special permit for commercial passenger. Yeah, it's a different classification. That is true. Um, watching from Finland, Ooh. Liam and Kenyon, we love you. Never Finally, never Netflix seen. aside, I'm so excited. <laughs> and Brian, thanks for subscribing. That's awesome. Always looking for new subscribers. We're so close to 50,000. Should happen in like, probably like two weeks, maybe. 2,000 only. Two, two weeks and a half. Depending yeah. on how it goes, yeah. Two weeks and a half. Yeah. So, that's quite something. <laughs> I'm so used to the voices because I'm watching you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have the same voices. Yeah, Jay went to the cliff for one night. He said it's like spectacular. Yeah. Spec freaking tacular. Spec freaking tacular. No, and that's why I said, no, and that's why I was like, we need to do. Yeah, we'll do two nights. We'll add another night. So actually, like they were super nice. So I was like, shocked. Yeah, they didn't even ask questions, which was pretty good. Cause like I called them the day before to make the booking. I told them like you know I I, I understand that with the WRC situation like it might be tricky to get there. They're like no, if you leave like at six a.m. it's gonna be fine. 
So anyway, we didn't make it, even though we left at around 6 a.m. And I called him and I was like, hey, I wasn't able to make it. I was like, I don't want a refund. Like, I just want to be able to like book on another day. They were like, yep, no problem. They gave me like a yeah. rent check paper. Can I that never happens. And I feel like it's because we both last minute as well. Oh, so they, like, they, they were super nice about yeah. it. So great customer service there. Yeah. Anthony Sims, this point, we didn't cover the rally. Uh, maybe, maybe next time go a day earlier. He yeah. went on Friday. And it was I, I really wanted to. The Same. problem is, is like, um, I, I work from Monday to Friday, so we couldn't go like uh, on you know Wednesday to cover Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. Um, the next ra- the, the next big big rally is oh, the East yeah. African tra- uh, traffic, the East African Classic in uh, end, mid to end November, and we will go there. I'm sure we're we're gonna make it there. We're gonna find a way. We're gonna book in advance. Like as much as we were warned that like. There was gonna be a lot of traffic, like get off the road, go early type thing. I, I don't. We weren't expecting that. <laughs> Tracy doesn't understand how big the WRC is, is and I, I was I trying to explain it to her. On the road that early too, and like. Well, I didn't know. No, no, that's fair. That's fair. But like, but yeah, like WRC is quite. A, it's quite a big event. Like it's an international event. Yeah. And the houses are made of cement. Yeah, so the like big thing really the big thing is like houses in Kenya are not really isolated. They're all in cement. So yeah. that means that normally if it's 16 outside, it's 16 inside kind of thing. So that's the biggest problem. It's not cold. It's just colder than than what it is normally. Like, you know. Yeah. And it's just enough that like you just feel a little chill. So that's why I've long yeah. gone. But right now it's like pretty much like the middle of winter. Yeah. And you did have like I did not have pants, yeah. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't say like for us, it's not cold. Like I see like Kenyans in the morning wearing like winter jacket, tubes and gloves. Like I'm, I'm really not at that point. Like, I get out, I still get out of the house with like a t-shirt most of the time. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. What was the one thing you didn't expect to find in Kenya that you loved or made you love so much? Chapatis. <laughs> I knew I would um, love the safari. I didn't realize I would love it that much. Hundred percent. But but something that uh, something that I would say because it was something that shocked me or something. Yeah. The beaches. Yeah. Hundred percent. At no point we we knew that. I mean, I knew that Kenya was like had some sort of beaches somewhere because like it's on the side of the continent. Yeah. But like I, I had no clue. That like they were this nice. Like I've been to like a bunch of beaches in a bunch of different countries around the world, mm-hmm. and Kenya for me has probably some of the best beaches in the world. Yeah. So. Second part. What is the best dessert you've ever had in Kenya? That was your first time to have. I know my best dessert. I wouldn't say it's a traditional thing um, I, because I, of like first time having. Did, did we ever have like Kenyan dessert? No, I don't think so. But like at Inti, what? that chocolate dome. Oh yeah, like uh, NT restaurant, like in Western, their their chocolate dessert is like amazing. But oh, yeah, um, what are Kenyan desserts? Like I'm curious. Like I don't think I. To be honest, like the first time to have. So I assume they make Kenyan. But. Yeah, but I don't think we have ever like Kenyan desserts. Like to be honest, I'm not a dessert person. No, you're like, not. Like I'll I'll eat an extra chapati Maybe instead like, of Kenyan um, like, dessert. Um, the mandazi maybe there. Are those? Kenyan? I don't know. Maybe. Um, Anthony said it was so warm and sunny in Nakuru. The sun literally did not come out today. No, not at all. It was literally like, like dark gray and gray and like yeah, it looked like it was gonna almost, rain all day. Yeah. But it didn't. But. It did not. Termites. Come out. Termites are not a dessert. <laughs> so it's so funny because after if you guys didn't see that video, like just at least check out the part where I'm trying to like I, I'm not trying I did eat yeah, two yeah. termites. Um, but uh, I got so many comments saying like no Kenyans eat termites. But at the same time, I got so many comments saying like termites are delicious. I remember catching them when I was a kid. I remember like eating then, them raw. Yeah, I was yeah. like, oh, I'm not ready for that. Yeah, the best was when I told you that they're not fried oil; it's their own oil. Ooh. <laughs> and it was like just after eating. You know what? Like 
I have no problem with like trying new things. It's just nobody in Canada eats bugs, okay? And it's not because it's it's weird or anything. There's a bunch of countries around the world where bugs are eaten different way, and it's a super good source of protein, and it's a very sustainable way to actually eat. But it's just for me, mm -hmm. it wasn't the taste. It's the fact that it's. It's a all mine over there. I just I can't. Yeah. It's yeah. just like in Asia, they eat fertilized eggs, yeah. which is, in my head, disgusting. It's, it grosses me out, but it's very weird because we both eat chicken and eggs, but, and we, don't eggs want to eat, but we don't want to eat what's in the middle. Yeah. It's so weird. Yeah, it's just all what you're used to being brought up. In, in like Thailand, those eggs are like a delicacy, but I can, oh, I don't know. Staples. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. So desserts are foreign. That's what I thought. I'm like, I've never heard yeah, of a Kenyan dessert. No, that's why. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Do you remember a, a shy message from you and RG? A, a lot of people, like, no offense, guys, but like, a lot of people are like, oh, do you remember me texting you on IG? I, no joke, get between 100 and 150 DMs every single day. So even though I do reply to everyone, I don't, like, I can't remember all the names. No. Some people said, we eat tamarinds as kids, not as adults. Okay. So it's like a kid treat? It's like, I don't know. Like chicken nuggets? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, like, I'm glad I did it, but I probably will never eat another tamarind. That's fair. That is very fair. Unless somebody's like, eat a tamarind. Then I'll be like, yeah. <laughs> you owe us a Nakuru vlog next weekend. <laughs> Well, it's not going to be next weekend. Like, we're actually pretty booked. So, like, yeah, we're normally always last minute, and we actually have things um, yeah. planned for, like, the next three weekends, which is where... Four weekends, because it's going to be the Cheetah Project. Because, like, so basically, next weekend, we're going to Sankara Hotel. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, we're going to... Back to Aberdeer. Uh, we haven't been yeah, there Yeah, Panari in Aberdeer, just beside the Thompson Fall. After that, we're probably going to the Mara uh, to a camp that I cannot... Re Call the name Tree right top. now, Treetop, and then after that it's gonna be the Cheetah Project. So we're gonna be in Old Pajeta for uh, just under a week probably. Yeah. Pretty. JC and the WRC will come back next year. Okay, well we'll, we'll do we uh, will do better next next year, next year. Yeah. but we'll we'll do better this year too because we're gonna go um we're gonna go to uh, the uh, East African. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Things That's change, all. things change. That's why if you guys come to our lives, then you get you get yeah. hints. Favorite area in Nairobi? Westland, I'd say. Just because of all the restaurants. Like they, there's so oh, many cool yeah. restaurants in Westland. Yeah, that's fair. For some reason I always confuse Westland and Parkland. But you go through Parkland to get to Westland, right? Okay. I just, just like um Westland is like kinda cool. What? Don't miss the Marella International Camel Derby. Yeah, I, I heard that. Somebody uh, somebody sent me a message about that. Like, what kind of... What's that? That was in the kitchen. I'll be back. We just heard something fall. I'm like, mm. Check the trash, the garbage bag. Uh, just the cooler bag that fell from the shelf. Okay. He's good, nothing broke. Nobody's breaking uh, in. Good. I was like, that. Uh, yeah, so what's the what what is the camel derby? Somebody like I said just texted me like uh, this morning actually about it. In San Bruno. Yeah. So August, so it shouldn't be too too bad. Okay. Um yeah. I like the way Dave and Tracy compliment each other as a couple of lessons. Marry someone who loves saying things as you. Life won't be boring. <laughs> I made Tracy love Disney at first, and then she loves it pretty close to how much I love it. <laughs> I don't think I will ever love it as much as you. Just well, I love it. Yeah, that's fair. Um, yeah, but to be honest, like, we do have very similar, like, the things that we do together are, are common interests, but sometimes we can be very different as well. Yeah. But I feel like, like, like all our common interests was me kind of... Yeah, like, but not like Disney, like traveling. Yeah, like, but not in a like, hey, I hate traveling. No, like, no, no, not no, a table, not at all. But, like, no, 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 just show sure. me areas because there's also an age gap between us as well. So you. I'm 49, and she's actually 17. 
No. <laughs> um, <laughs> so he was able to kind of like he's been traveling a little bit before before he met me. So was able to. I think I think like when we did like our first trip together was actually a trip in Europe where we did Ireland, yeah. England, and France. And I think after that she kind of cut the uh, the travel yeah. Yeah, from yeah. there. Yeah. And you know what, I was actually going to suggest this to do today, but I was like, ah, I don't really, I wasn't sure. Peru Forest. Peru oh, Forest yeah, that's true. Shot. I mean, we, we've we been there. Your sneakers yeah. the we've been to Peru Forest, but we, we just never survive. did like a, a, a vlog there. Yeah. But it's just like, I'm trying, like, what kind of vlog can we make at Peru Forest? That's my question. It's just like. Oh, well, it's like another hike, and I would say, like, go to the cafe after. It's more like a Wednesday, yeah. I would say. Oh, I'm always trying to like make the vlogs interesting, like especially like when we go to like just like a normal hotel or something like that. I'm trying to add something to it. Like last time that we went to a normal hotel, we did like you know like five free things that you can do in a hotel. Nobody watched that video, but you know I really try to make it more interesting. But like um, for example, like Sankara next weekend. It's kind of a normal hotel, but at the same time, there's a lot of different things in there. Like they have like a champagne bar, they have like a, a oh, restaurant that looks like phenomenal, and it's like a very kind of luxurious like, yeah. hotel. So I think like that's gonna be like yeah. a little bit more interesting, just like when we went to uh, Kempinski, for example. Yeah. Which that video was very good. So I will we be at the East that. Africa Rally? Yes. We're gonna try. I'm pretty confident. I really, I really think we will. They're talking about like the East African Classic, right? I assume it's Anthony, yeah. Yeah, Anthony, if you're talk talking about like the East African Classic in uh, mid-November, yes, like I, I will do everything I can to go there. And I might have like an in to like be able to like get some sort of access to, I don't want to like talk too much about it because like I really don't know, like I'm and you talking on top, of, like, on top of my head, but yeah. Just like, why is the live thumbnail from another video? <laughs> we were too lazy to make it there. This was... morning we looked like terrible. Poop? Yeah, like poop. <laughs> like and poop. then we have that photo of like us just chilling on a bed. I was like, that's kind of the vibe of today. It's gray outside, it's cold, it's not very nice. Oh, yeah. We just put comfy clothes we, yeah. and... And it got to the point that we're like, we cannot sit and watch TV all day. Like, we have to do something. And I was like, yeah. let's go walk around the mall. Yeah. I was like, we didn't we do that in like forever. Like, Since we arrived, like we never did that here. Yeah, no. It's just go to the mall to go to the mall. Yeah. I bought her a shirt. This and, is called boredom shopping. Yeah. And yeah. We, it we went to the grocery store and to pretty much every single store and two rivers mall. Just cause. Yeah. Just to see what they have. Yeah. So yeah. that's pretty cool. Um, cause like yeah, this weekend we're supposed to be at the cliff and we didn't. But yesterday we had a super cool night. We went to uh, Nairobi Street Kitchen and like. I don't want to say too much about it because like there was a full vlog there. Yeah, the, but like, damn, that was so. Like we will be back and like, yeah, we did, yeah. Yeah, we, we, we didn't might, get to try it all, but because there's eleven different like food kiosk or food booth, whatever you want to call and it, bars. That, and and bars. So yeah. we we tried like four or five different. One, two, two three, three, four, five. Five, five technically. So yeah. five different ones. So there's another six to try. So we're, yeah. if, if you guys really enjoyed that video and it gets quite a bit of views or something and interaction, then like we'll probably do like a, a part two because we had a lot of fun. Plus, like you guys made us feel like celebrities. Oh my goodness, we met so many of you guys. Like today. it was like nonstop. I've never, we've never. Like it was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like you guys were just so nice, so kind, so cool. I know. It was amazing to meet you all. And like it was so funny because at, when we showed up at some point, like the general manager kind of recognized yeah. us. And we were sitting at a table with him and he was kind of explaining us like the concept of the place so we yeah. can like you know give more information in our in our vlog in our video and like three times when we were having that conversation people were like oh my god hi how are you and everything and i was like hey and i was like you know like you get it that i'm a big deal i'm kind of a big deal you see that because <laughs> they did like they did like a, a, a like a soft opening with like a bunch of influencers and they did not invite us I was like, okay. That's all good. <laughs> no, but anyway, like, no hard feeling. It was like, it's a super cool concept, super yeah. cool food, great people working there. So, yeah. yeah. Really if you didn't try it, highly suggested. Next time we go for a part two, we might tell you all so we can do like a, 
I think that would be a good spot. Yes. If if we like not if but when we actually do a meetup, it's probably gonna be there because it's yeah. super cool. Um, Ken said he went back to watch our previous recipe videos. He said they're hilarious. This is what I mean. Like we're <laughs> never <laughs> talking in front of the camera. Yeah. Like, you know, like everyone's like, "Oh, you guys are so good in front of the camera and everything." And I'm I'm always me and Trace are always like, "Go back, go like, go see like." Early 2020 videos yeah. and, and see what's up. No, early 2019. 2019. 2020. Yeah, early 2020 videos where we were making like what? Disney recipes, <laughs> uh, fitness challenge, yeah. food box reviews. Yeah. When we actually started to make more travel content, because like we're, we're kind of like travel slash food slash lifestyle. That's how I yeah. describe our channel kind yeah, of thing. Absolutely. But we started to do that a little bit more, like in um, in the cities where in the city where we lived uh, in Canada before, before coming here, doing like food tours, like Instagramable food tour in Halifax. We did another one in uh, PEI. I also did like a like a five. The hell! Oh my god! So funny story. First mini sponsor really that we ever got. Oh my goodness! Was, okay, there's two. A random girl that was making cookies. Okay, that, but I'm picking the other one. The cookie was amazing too, but Which one? Flynn's ice. We never, we never took advantage of that. No, because we left within like three weeks later. Yeah, so, okay, so basically like, like we did a, we did Halifax a- Halifax food tour. Yeah, a Halifax food tour, bro. Instagramable food. So we went yeah. to all those things that makes like crazy milkshake, crazy donuts, like yeah. crazy like, barbecue food or whatever. Like, you know, like those, those cool, food photo that you, you see on Instagram. Yeah. And that place in Halifax um, makes those crazy shapes that they literally have like a piece of cake in it. Yeah, so it, ours was like a strawberry strawberry cheesecake or yeah, something, and then on the top literally had a piece of cheesecake on it. Yeah. Anyways, all that to say that I, it was one of our first things that I was said that they, we could have free milkshakes for life there. It's not really a sponsor, but yeah. No, they, but they said for life, so technically, so happy technically when we go back, I think. I'm not going to lie. We're actually. probably going to be like, hey, do you remember us? Because when we go back to the <laughs> back, we're going to show you like a whole bunch of cool Oh yeah, stuff. for sure. I've already started playing it. I got my life. Yeah, started. I think it's going to be interesting to like show you guys like where we're from and like, how cold it is there. <laughs> no, but like, <laughs> it's I'm gonna be a super vlog. excited to show them where we're from. Yeah. I don't know why, like I just... Yeah. We created this community, and I just I want them to know a little bit more about us. Yeah, for sure. I think that's gonna be interesting. Yeah. But yeah, but all that said, that our first actual, not really sponsor, but the first kind of sponsor post that we did was like a cookie, like that was and, a giant cookie. Yeah. If you if you go on my Instagram and you scroll down a lot, about about probably three hundred posts, you'll see it. It's like us with a cookie. Same thing on my TikTok. If you scroll about like a hundred something videos, mm -hmm. you'll see. Yeah, it was less like a massive cookie. That girl was like, oh, can I give you a, a free massive cookie? Like, uh, and, and you can make a post? And I was like, sure. And I was so happy. I was like, oh my oh, God, I'm, her, yeah. I'm getting something for free just to put it on my Instagram. <laughs> this is a really cool question that I'll kind of like catch yeah. up on the rest. Um, but what do your trips feel like? A never ending honeymoon or more work? Honest, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, um, we have some like honeymoon type ones, and honestly, I felt like that at Cedar Point and Old mm -hmm. Um But you'll notice if we go for two nights, especially, we'll get like a little bit of a better vibe. When we're at a place for one night, it does feel like work. Yeah. Because you're there to film and enjoy it at the same time, but like it kind of yeah. Like into don't get me wrong. Like I mean, like you know this. This part of our life, our job, yeah. it's a great job. It's fun. Oh, absolutely. The only problem is I have a real job on top of it. And that's always what I'm telling people. Yeah. If I was only doing social media, it'd be amazing. Yeah. But the problem is, is like I do social media on the weekend where, yes, we travel and everything, but it's filming nonstop and thinking about concept, taking photos, editing and everything. And then on Monday, I go back to work. So it's like, it's, it's like I'm working seven days a week. Yeah. So that that's the only thing. But yeah, like it is. Even though like we look like we're we're having a blast and everything, and we are, it's still like it's still work. Like we can't just being we can't just sit there enjoy ourselves, have a glass of wine, watch lines and everything. No, like normally, like you know, when we go on safari, especially we both have a camera, and the GoPro attached on the truck. I'm like I'm posting live on Instagram as well. 
taking photos, taking stories, taking videos, making a TikTok, all, all that at the same time. So it like, is quite a bit. It's, yeah, it is still enjoyable, but it, yeah. it's a lot. Jay says, but did we fix the patches on the wall behind you? No, nope, the camera's just low enough that you can't see it. Oh, yeah, it's not this. Like, yeah, no, it's, it's terrible. Um, but you can't see it, so that's perfect. <laughs> yes, my foot is better from the height, although my sneakers are destroyed. So that's, we went to the mall today actually to see if I could get good <laughs> shoes. Oh, here's the thing. Um, does anyone know where you can get really good sneakers? I mean like running sneakers, not like, not just like your average everyday sneakers. I need ones that are really good for running. Like A6. Yeah, like my favorite brand in Canada is A6. I don't know if you can get them here, and I can't order online just because I don't know my size, which makes it complicated because it changes. Um, but I need I need sneakers for so we can walk more. But yes, yeah. otherwise like hiking Mount Laguna with backpacks while filming and everything. Yeah, that was a that was challenging. It was interesting. But yeah. it was a practice. We we're gonna do the same thing on Mount Kenya and probably Mount Kilimanjaro as well. Yeah. So. Let's go. Eventually. Um, yes, we do need to go to Nakuru more, and I don't know why. Not more. We, we need to go. We've never yeah, been there. See, I, I, for some reason, I always think we have because I, in my mind, the Basha and the Yeah, Kuru me are too. The same. So close, but it's not. It's I know. completely different because we gotta go there, Lake Nakuru with the flamingos and everything. Like, yeah, it's, it's we pretty, do have like, to go there. It was super cool. So, like, that's why we actually wanted two nights at uh, yeah. the cliff. So, soon. Like, probably. Hopefully in August, probably, because we're booked all July right now. So, yeah. August. Hopefully. It was probably August, yeah. Because um, I have a credit at the cliff too, so we'll get to use it. <laughs> yeah. Um, do, 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 do. What's your take on Safari Rally in the Basha? Honestly, we're not there. I, 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 like, I mean, I, I watched a few videos and everything, yeah. like, it looks phenomenal. And I'm very sad that I missed it, but. We'll be more organized next year and in November for the East Safari, East Africa Classic. Oh, I don't know if you ever looked into that again. <laughs> Trans 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 sports? If so, what sports do you guys really enjoy? So we usually don't. We're not really sports people. I'm not. Um, not at all. Right no, now, like Montreal, the Montreal Canadiens so are the hockey team from the city where I'm from. They're going for like the Stanley Cup final, which didn't happen in like decades. Um, so I might be watching that, but at the same time, like, it's very hard because, like, the games are going to be at, like, 2 a.m. East African time, so uh, I'm not sure. Oh, you did look at the game, the time. It's at 7 p.m. in Montreal. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, that's fair. Um. But I don't really watch any sports, to be honest. Like, sometimes, like, normally we watch, like, the, like, CrossFit games. Yeah, that's fair. We do, do that. We do watch that. But that's pretty much, like, I don't watch football, I don't watch soccer, I don't really watch hockey. No. Yeah. I work out though. Skechers. Uh, yeah, okay. So oh, we don't want sports, but on our YouTube channel, we follow a lot of fitness people. A ton of fitness people. So kind of in that side of it. Yeah, but like on like workout kind of people. Yeah, workout bodybuilding people. Like. But it's more like all those people are slowly like switching to like entrepreneur. Yeah, that's that's fair. Um, yes, yeah, Skechers. I, oh, Bada. I have heard, I don't know if right. I have heard of that brand actually. I should check that out. Um, Skechers. Yeah, that's true. I Skechers forgot you guys have a Skechers for sure. Yeah, that's true. It's at uh, Village Market. Village Market has one too. There's one at Sarah Center too. <laughs> when I go to Disney, I had a pair of Skechers sneakers and I wore them out. They were mm -hmm. amazing. Navasha is in Nakuru. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, from here. Okay. What? Navasha is in Nakuru? So, uh, so, I oh, I guess Nukuru so, yeah, Nakuru County. County. But, but yeah, no, there is more place in Nakuru County. Yeah. Um, on your Mara Bay, you guys got lucky. Yeah, so I know. it was insane. Yeah. Yeah, like I've never, we've never seen that much. <laughs> oh, I deleted it. Oh. I just wanted to delete it just for. See? Is it working? Well, I don't know. We're gonna see. Barney the dinosaur. We're gonna put you, you just, in timeout. You just gonna put in timeout. It's okay. <laughs> Dave and Tracy watching from K N H. Where is that? Valentin. Where is K N H? What is K N H? Kenya. No. I'm <laughs> like I wanted to make it work, but it doesn't work. Karen Lord House. You're very wrong. It's gonna be wrong. Oh. It's um, yes, Barney, don't camp. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> did the rude dude who emailed you reply after you killed him with kindness? No, 
don't. They never they do. They never do. They yeah. never do. Sometimes it's just like they people just put like rent. They build like they started like random emails to just like. Yeah. Trade. I um. <laughs> I had it on a post the other day that was like, kindly never come to Kenya again. And I was like, kindly? Kindly, I mean, that's nice. <laughs> but no, I'm here. Yeah. Normally people who tell us to leave Kenya, they say please, so I mean, that's polite. <laughs> sure. Kenyatta National Hospital. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I hope you're feeling, I hope you feel better. Are you like, or yeah, are you maybe it's worked? Anyways, personal life, we don't have to get into that. But either way. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you always carry book bags on safaris. What's inside your backpacks? His is all his tech and camera gear. It's right there in his pack. Mine is snacks for him. <laughs> and like jackets, sweaters, meds in case something were to happen. There you go. That's what I have in my backpack. I got a What's GoPro. A nice backpack? I got those are just like the GoPro accessories. I got our Zoom camera and like a mini portable oh, light. I love this light so much, it's great. And I got, that's my drone. And yeah, in the pockets and everything here, I just got like a bunch of like charger, flashlight, batteries, and that kind of <laughs> yeah. stuff. So yeah, it's just, uh, it's all our gear basically to make the videos. And on top of that, we have like the vlogging camera, but that nor that's normally in my hands. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> um, do a Canada Day special or something? So oh, Canada Day special. Oh, we ah. That is true. We dropped the ball on that. Wow. So what, what Thank you for saying that because you totally dropped the ball. I knew it was coming up, but I forgot it was that soon. Okay, let us think. Let us brainstorm. We'll you guys feel free to brainstorm with us. Like I, I don't really know what to do. We could do a video of like full Canadian stuff. Um, although some of the stuff we can't, we can try and make. We could. We'll talk about it. <laughs> like not even Google things. So. Um, maybe maybe this Wednesday's video is going to be a Canada special. We're gonna try. I'm trying to think right now. I'm like, oh my god. I know. We. I kind of. So last minute. Um. What is the size of the lens on the Nikon? The size of the lens. It's a. Uh, it's two hundred millimeter. Though, yeah. It's. Uh, yeah. It's. Yeah. It's a two hundred millimeter. So it gives you like quite a bit, like quite a bit of zoom. But it's an older camera, so like the colors and everything, they're not that great. So like it makes me work a lot post production to like color correct everything. Dave rushed to respond to that backpack question like a very excited kid. <laughs> I like showing my toys. Um, hey guys, we're leaving for Kenya tonight. Oh, that's awesome. From awesome. where? Yeah, where are you from, Kevin? Is the Nairobi street kitchen more of an upscale place or more like in indoor street food truck area? You nailed it. Yeah. Exactly like that. Yeah. It's like, I'm going to be frank, to be honest, it is not cheap. Everything is about nine dollars. But we also, yeah, and we also didn't get like two meals. We got one thing, yeah. So we kind of spent quite a bit. But it's like it is such a fun vibe, like so cool, such a unique place. There is literally nothing else in the country like this. So. And it's the type of place you can wear like top for a girl. You can wear like casual dress. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. Like whatever you want. And like, as soon as the restrictions are go gonna go away, that place is gonna be. The, the place in Westland for nightlife. Oh, a lot of people yeah. like it was like and like late afternoon. People were like with bottles and everything, like drinking gin and whiskey and stuff. And like yeah, and the the uh, the drinks are delicious. Yeah. So yeah. Anthony says, idea on fans virtual meet and greet would be special. Virtual meet. -and -greet? Isn't that like what we're doing back then? That's what I'm wondering. Do you mean like... I don't know. But to be honest, like, yes. I mean, we could always title... Do you mean like title a live, like a meet and greet, that type of thing? Oh, no, 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 no. We could probably make like a Zoom thing. Mm. How many... You can have 50 people, I think, on a Zoom call. 
Yeah, but we could do like one a week for so often and then like make, be like, people can't necessarily come. You know what, you have to restrict it. And like, so that way the same people aren't back every single time just so that everyone gets a chance. That's a good idea. But I think that like, maybe like when we go like places like Street Kitchen, for example. Yeah, we're we getting to the point like, that it's, I think we could do a meet and greet. It's more sooner than far off than in my Yeah, opinion. for sure. Um, just but yeah, kind of, like let, let, you just let people know like from two, three days in advance. Like, we need some chips. Yeah. Hey, we're going to be at this place at this time. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, all the big ones are gone. Yeah, I ate it's all like the big ones. It's like from those who get it, like put guac all over your fingers if you want some. We have leftover guac from supper. <clears throat> I should just get the other one, so. Yeah, that's what people are saying, like Zoom. But yeah, like, that, that would be actually a good idea. Mm -hmm. I wish we would have talked about that like four months ago. But. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, okay, they're from Washington, UF. Um, so they're staying at Kempinski. Oh, cool. You'll love it. Where, where, you, where you're going exactly in Kenya though? Like, are you staying at the Kempinski like your entire stay? Or are you like moving around? Because if you want some suggestions, <laughs> there's a lot of that. videos about it. <laughs> oh, check the audio. There's two people saying that. They're like, can you guys hear us good? Or? And like two people say flow and everyone else has been reading off. I can just bring the mic a little closer and hopefully it's not gonna be a show. <laughs> We're having um, Mexican crunch tortilla chips with leftover guac from supper. <laughs> because, because we made the entire thing. And you just, you can't let leftover walk go. Do I have the other bag? I'm good on nothing, right? Yeah, but we can't leave that much. Well, just eat those crumbs. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <clears throat> Hold up. Yeah. Uh oh, then you go right in front of me. Yeah. Oh, Tracy. Oh my goodness. Well, Tracy is away. This is the time where I plug myself. Guys, I finally figured out this M-Pesa thing. Even though I don't have a, a till number, I was able to find a service, a Kenyan service. Actually, it's a Kenyan company that offers this where um, there's actually like, if you go like the pin comment on top of the chat right now, if you click on that link, it brings you to their portal where you just put your phone number, the amount of money you want to, to support the, the creator that you want, and then boom, just like that. Isn't it phenomenal? So if you guys want to support us, click on the link, the first link in the description or the first, uh, the, the, the pin comment, click on that link and you can support us via Impesa now. We are officially Kenyan, Tracy. There's a big old bug over there. Oh, well, we just need a big old gecko to eat it. Okay, guys, we, have, yeah. we have so many geckos living in our house. It is unbelievable. Yeah. We now have a bedroom gecko. We yeah, have we have a bedroom gecko. Last week we had like a, a the, the bathroom gecko is like a baby gecko <laughs> and like I had to like take him and like put him other places Cause he, he was just like, Yeah, he was like on her clothes And I was like, no, no, no I had to like, I had to move him, so Yeah Oh well No, we didn't go to the WRC, we really tried but uh, Later on, just check the, <laughs> the beginning of this vlog, I kind of explained like what happened But basically we were stuck in traffic, turned around and came back, so mm -hmm. Sammy, hello, how are you? Now the volume is okay. Perfect. Oh, got these chips. No. Got other chips. No. Are you guys going back to Canada? Yes, in like 2024, hopefully. Oh, but we sorry. Will, <laughs> but we will be going to Canada probably uh, mid December for two weeks. I'm not gonna lie, like I don't get me wrong, I love it here, but it's been like. 11 months, 10 months since we've seen family, and I yeah. miss my family a lot yeah. lately. It's gonna be like what, 15 months. It'll be, I know, I'm trying to do it fast. Yeah, it'll be about 15 months that we haven't seen them. So it's the time to go back. So I kind of start doing a little bit of planning for you guys so that like certain videos we can do while we're there mm -hmm. and Christmas planning and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and best <Pesa>. yeah. <laughs> Tracy's all covered up and I'm like in shorts. Yeah, like that's I know. I get warm. That's our life. I'm always warm. And I'm always cold. Yep. Other than the avocado, what's in guacamole? Um, um, so normally what I do is like, it's mainly like I would say it's 75% avocado uh, with a little, little bit of tomato. If you do one avocado, do one tomato. Yeah, a small tomato though. Yeah. 
And then for spices, it's just lemon salt juice. and pepper, lemon juice. No pepper, no pepper. Well, normally in real no, life, no pepper. Trace no pepper. Like pepper. <laughs> I put cayenne pepper though. So salt, okay, well cayenne it. pepper, uh, uh, lemon garlic. juice, garlic, and cilantro. Yeah. Blend it all up. Mm. It's delicious. It is delicious. Um. I saw when I went to this one today. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, we're, we're going back to Canada and then come back. We'll only be gone for like two weeks. Yeah, even. yeah, it's like probably like 15 days or something like that. So. Yeah. We're gonna go make some vlogs in Canada. Hopefully, like, you guys are gonna watch our Canadian vlogs. Sometimes I'm scared that, like, people won't watch our vlogs that are not in Kenya. That's I don't fair. Know. But I feel like we've created such a community that, like, our true followers will. Yeah. I think so. We'll see. <laughs> Uh, wow, Kevin, that's a big trip. So 22 days. We're staying at Kempinski for a couple nights, then Pajeta, Samburu, Mara, Amicelli, Sabo West, Abadair, and finish at Diani Beach. To relax finally. Because you're buddy, you're gonna that's be crazy. you're gonna be safari down. That is that's a, awesome. That's great. You're gonna have a blast, especially if it's your first time. Like you're hitting all like the good spots. Yep. Yeah, yeah. If it's your first time, you're gonna like freak out. Even if it's not your first time, you're gonna like have a good time. But if it's like your first safari, like you're yeah. you're gonna love it for sure. We will watch them. Don't worry, Nick. Don't. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so we can't wait to like start making videos like other places. Like it's, I mean, there's so much to Kenya that like we didn't see yet, but it's just cool to like go to new, new places. Like I want to go to Uganda for, for Uganda. I want to go to Rwanda for the gorillas, Tanzania, Madagascar, South Africa for the wine. Well, that's going to be, there's going to be so many wine vlogs there, guys. I already have, like, my path and everything. I found a company where you can rent a fake Ford Cobra convertible to, like, that's drive cool. around South Africa. Oh, my goodness, we're so doing that. That's really cool, actually. Yeah. So. Oh, The Amazing Race. So they're watching The Amazing Race yesterday. I thought of you. Would you do it? Yes. That'd be cool. 100%. Yeah, I, to be honest, I haven't watched it that long. I just know the content. Do, do you have to like apply or do they pick you? I think you apply and then get picked. Okay. Okay. That Maybe. Makes sense. Yeah, well, I don't know. Yeah. Dave's typical Canadian, he never gets cold. Yeah, that's very true. <sighs> I like when it's like cold or too. Especially like at night. But, yeah, same here because I like to be cozy. Yeah. Whereas in the summer here, I'm just sweating all the time. Yeah, but for me, like, if it could be 25 degrees during the day, year round, I would be the, the, the happiest man on the planet. Fair. Just 25. 25 is perfect. Over that is too hot, under that is too cold. 25 is like magic. Mm -hmm. And then 10 degrees at night. So you can, like, bundle up. Be nice and like, get... Yeah. Kevin said not the first year already. They're in Kenya in a couple of years and love okay. it. Yeah. Well, you're you're gonna love it. I'm sure. Like I'm sure you didn't go to like all those places, so there's gonna be some new stuff there for sure. Him. Who's the best dancer? Me. And I'm not good. I'm just willing to dance. She's not. <laughs> That's why I'm the best. Where my social awkwardness comes out. Yeah. You remember when we did the from now on? <laughs> You guys need to follow us on TikTok because about like once a year I make Tracy dance in <laughs> something. It's true, literally once a year. Yeah. Last time was last mm -hmm. Christmas. No, two Christmases ago, I think. <laughs> <laughs> You're cutting. <gunning. laughs> <laughs> you guys follow me on TikTok. There's the there's the dance there. It's pretty cool. From now on, from now on. The first time was the best. to never sing during our life and then I do it all the time. You do do it all the time. Because <laughs> it's my life, it's my, it's my channel, it's my vlog and what I want. Somebody <laughs> has had a lot of energy tonight. Drink a monster and also bought all the monster at the car for today. <laughs> oh yeah, they are so Jay, Jay sent me a message, he was like, Let, leave some for others. <laughs> There's about four cases left, it's yeah. okay. Um, 
I don't know if we care from Supergirl is Jay. I need to I need to Kara from Supergirl. Casey reminds me of Kara, Supergirl from Supergirl. Oh, like the actual Supergirl. Oh. Like Superman Supergirl? Yeah, like Supergirl. I can see that a little bit. I've never watched it, but I'm just going off books. Never watched that show. Um. Um. Any smoky really sound you like? Actually, my friend. I couldn't, um, I couldn't say which one, but yes. I was going to say. Um, our neighbor, I was driving her vehicle the other day, and she's like, because she's away, and she's like, you can take it, whatever, and I'm like, cool, maybe. Uh, anyway, she had a CD in her car, and had, like, I guess, like, club, like, can you? Swaby club song. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, oh. Was the like, beat is like good, that. like, I remember, like, when we went to, um, Four Points in, uh, downtown CBD, and, like, we were at the bar, and oh, they had, like, some yeah, swaby, like, like, club music, and it was actually... That good was music. Really good. Like I couldn't tell you like the, the title of the song or anything. Enough, yeah. But like yeah. That was good. Was good. It's good beat. <laughs> Damn dude, your voice. I know. Don't Thank encourage. You. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. I know it's phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, Jay, since you're a member, I will do it for you. Um, for others, you guys uh, should join our membership. Uh, I'm two away from my goal. Two away, so I need two new members. And uh, you can you can have a special request uh, just like Jane. If you remember, I'll do it. <coughs> I want an hippopotamus for Christmas. Only a hippopotamus will do. <laughs> I did it. You did it. Do it again. I want an hippopotamus for Christmas. Only a hippopotamus will do. I fixed it. I'm <laughs> going. It's, it's gone. It's like. The, the, okay. It's connected again. Well, remember when we were OC though? You did it once, and then after that you couldn't do it. Yeah, but it. I just but did it yeah, twice more. That's not fun. An hippopotamus. An hippopotamus. <laughs> and I want an hippopotamus. Huh. For, if you guys don't understand, like, I, I, I was always trying to sing that song, but I was singing like an hippopotamus or something. An hippopotamus. An hippopotamus. I oh, want an hippopotamus do. <laughs> Anyway, I don't know why I couldn't like say it. Worked. It worked. An hippopotamus. Jane okay. fixed me. Yeah, all because of Jay. Um, let's see. Are you planning to expand your family? Not until we get home. Uh, mainly because we want our family to be around the kiddos. We have a really close knit family. It's very important to us. Mm -hmm. um, he gets the hippo song right. He did it because I asked him. Totally. I did it. Totally. I did it. I just I missed a little bit of practice and this is it tonight. Yeah. Made it. Yeah. I don't know. I'm so proud. Actually we have. Wow. We have. Tracy's sad actually because I, I am slightly sad. It was making her laugh so Like every time much. we did it, I laughed until I cried. And it's just oh. one of those things that would like trigger I don't yeah. know. It's hilarious. It's quite funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all the grids to Jay. <laughs> I'm fixed. Oh, wow. uh, do you have another funny story to tell me? Tracy, you never. Like, so. Yesterday I was told that I talk too much and don't let Tracy talk enough by two people. So, like, it's true. please take it away. I don't know what I have to tell you. This is why I talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> it's mainly when we're on topics, and then, and then I have things to say. Okay. But when it's just dead silent, then. Pick a topic. You're supposed to pick a topic. Why? Mm. Mm. I think you should do a video learning, but it's all healing. We will at some yeah, point. Yeah, for sure. We started to learn Kenyan stuff already. We learned Japalis. Yeah. Okay, that's good, but yeah, yeah, for sure. When is your wedding anniversary? It is September 20th. I was like, <laughs> it is? Yes. I was like going through random dates in my head, and I was like, <laughs> I never remember a birthday correctly. Is it, it is true. Is it, is it, is it the 28th? Yeah. Yes. But to be fair, every year I'm like, is yours the 13th or the 14th? Yeah. And then I like, it's the I 15th. guess the 14th. No, it's <laughs> not. <laughs> I always like slightly guess the 14th. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. Team Chapati. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I should get a t-shirt that says that. Team oh, Chapati. I want to learn how to make Ndenbu. Yeah, Tracy's favorite Kenyan dish so far. I act like that is my favorite so far. Yeah. I love it. 
which is our favorite, Canada or Kenya. It's like a, it's like if you ask me, like, do you prefer um, pineapple or mango? Well, they're both delicious. It's true. It's just it's so different. I like my today. It's like, do you prefer TV or tacos? Yeah. I don't know. I like both. Yeah. It's just it's different. It's very. And that's different. that's why we wanted to go to Kenya. Yeah. Because it was very different. Because it was different. Yeah. Watching from Dubai, man, we will be coming from Dubai. I, like, we uh, hope to visit Dubai this year. The plan I'm is really this year. We hope maybe September. September. For anniversary. Oh, for an anniversary, you should say. Well, we'll see. Somewhere but. in September, October, if time permits, if COVID permits, if everything permits, we will be visiting. I really, yeah. The largest There's so in the much world, to see. The largest fountain in the world. <laughs> the tallest building in the world. I went up line for one. Well, did Dave say yes? And he said the hippos on. And he yes. got it right. I got it right. I'm a hippopotamus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> Could you do a taco recipe video? So actually, one there of is. our lives that say cook with us. Yeah. Um, it's you'll there. get the recipe in there, and it's actually linked in the description as well. In the description. Oh yeah, the like I wrote it okay, out. This one, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, if you check out that video, like, the, and you don't have to watch the entire video because the end is more like a, a Q and A. But the like the first half of the video is everything from like how we make uh, like the the tortillas themselves yeah. to like what we put in it and the toppings and cheese. Basically, and the tortillas are less oily chapatis. Not oily chapatis. We so <laughs> funny story. I knew chapatis were like kind of bad for your health. Not bad for your health, but like they're, they're very high in calories. They're extremely fat, but I did not know how fat. It is crazy. The amount of oil that's in a chapati, no wonder they're delicious. Pretty much. I like the honey. It's just a little. It's like my default, oh. upload default. Oh, yeah, you can talk about it. You, you do it. Yeah, I can talk about it. Um. So it might be limited on the live, so I won't go like too far into it. We'll talk about more on a video. Mm -hmm. um, if there's anyone in Canada and the U.S., right? No, Canada. So it's just Canada to Canada. Canada can send to everywhere. Okay, but it will open up eventually for yes. Europe and the U.S. Yep. Um, so we, because we still have Canadian bank accounts, it's really difficult for us to send money to our Impesa. Because it has a well, you just need it. We use here. before we use like Sandwave, and I use um, but like it's they charge a crazy amount of it's yes. not they don't charge fees, but their their conversion rate is extremely bad, it's really bad. Yeah, so we lose a lot of money by transferring from Canada to Kenya. Yeah, so we a company approached us called Lemonade, and it's the exact same thing, like, there's nothing different, basically, just send money from people in Canada to Kenya um, for the purpose of Impeza and that type of thing. So, so we um, now have a- Lemonade, Lemonade is actually a company from Canada that yeah. became extremely successful with their service with Nigeria. Yes. But since last week, they now uh, are able to convert from Canada, well, from Canadian dollar to cash yes. and send money basically to Impeza. Yes. So now they're launching here in Kenya and yeah, like now we, we have a partnership with them. And if so, basically, if you know anyone that has family, friends, or family in Kenya and in Canada, uh, sorry, in Kenya and in Canada, yeah. then they can actually like send money uh, yeah. from Canada to Kenya or the US and, and Nigeria. And by yeah. using by using our code down in the description, not only you're helping us, but by using Dave yeah. Manny as the code. Uh, discount code or whatever you, you want to call it. You yourself get 10% cash back on your first yeah. transfer as yeah. well. So, so, so it's free money you for you guys. get extra money yeah. for you. Yeah. Well, Anyways, okay. and we did a test of it. Like our other uh, it's crazy services fast. would take like five, six minutes for it to come through. This Literally. Six seconds. Yeah. Like it six seconds. Insane. Money can't like my, from my Canadian money to my M-Pesa, six seconds. That's crazy. So anyway, if you have family in Canada, friends in Canada, whatever, they want to send money to each other, yeah. blah, blah, blah. And it works actually from Canada to Nigeria as well, Canada to Europe, Canada to UK, Canada to the US. Yeah. So 
if you know somebody in Canada that needs to send money internationally some way, um, use our code down below. You will get some free money and yeah. you're supporting us as well. So there. But we'll pitch yeah. it in another video. I think for you guys, maybe love all of the Mexicans. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Mexican food is delicious. It's very Tacos, good. fajitas, nachos, enchiladas. Yeah, like it's all delicious. We used to make enchiladas at home, actually. We should try yeah. making. I should try making enchilada sauce and making here. I'm pretty sure I saw enchilada sauce here at the Carrefour. I think the issue was wondering if the tortillas would go too soft. Yeah, it's just the salsa bread right here is not very good. Like, it's a random salsa from a random company you've never heard of and like it's too sweet yeah yeah it's supposed to have a tank yeah oh do you mean a vegetarian for you yeah that's fair you were actually uh, i did that for a while i was using kidney beans yep yeah and sometimes we'll throw in i know it sounds weird but sometimes we would throw in sweet potato as well mm -hmm. just to add like an extra and corn yeah just the corn in the soup um Yes, the cheese crunch Ola. Is it tofu? No, oh, that's Mexican. Tortillas. The cheese ones are so good. Yeah, those are good chips. They yeah. are really good chips. And the cheese ones remind me of nacho burritos. Oh yeah, kind of. Basically. Yeah. yeah. Some call me again. I think it depends on the device because like Yeah, most people really seem to be people. saying that it's fine. Like we only had three people in the entire life saying that uh, they had like audio problems. We have like a microphone and I put it back like you guys actually can see it on the bottom of the screen right now. So should be fine because that's the distance that we're normally filming if we had, a, had that microphone on the camera for all our vlogs. So. Yeah. I heard that the Southern Ocean was discovered recently by Matt Do you know if it's legit? No, I'm not sure. Well, Southern Ocean is there. <laughs> yeah, they're good. Hey, look, I'm pretty good at pointing. <laughs> yeah, no audio issues. Yeah, I think it just depends on the uh, device. Yeah. Sorry about that, people. But, or if you're going to Matachi, you'll probably have some help. Oh my goodness, don't know about that. <sighs> I know. <sighs> I'm looking at my dead flowers and I'm like, I'm going to go buy more flowers this week. Yeah, Tracy yeah. really likes buying flowers. I do, they just add like a really homey thing yeah. to them. Her neighbors the other day, the neighbor showed up and she was like, I bought you flowers today. She said, well, no, she bought two for her. And then she yeah, was like, I gave you some. I was like, yeah, you can give me flowers any day. It's always a good day with flowers. Yes. Oh, did you realize? I can like, I can go get my own coffee this week. I can get my oh. own groceries. So we only have one vehicle because it's really not worth it to have a second vehicle. Like, I do grocery bags. Yeah, you like, know. Like, that's you literally it. Anyways. So she's away and she's like, you can take my vehicle to get groceries. I was like, oh, what? <laughs> and it's not standard, that's why. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's big, it's like, it's a Jeep Wrangler. So it is big. It's pretty big. It's pretty wide. Yeah. Anyways, I'm just excited to have a lot of lunch for you this week. Yeah. <laughs> and it's good that it's not standard. Yeah. I feel like sometimes like there's a delay in the chat because like there's nothing and then back 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 back. Yeah, I think that too. Now that you, you drive your car away from the tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't need a tattoo now that we drive away from the tattoo. Exactly. Uh, yeah, like I, I, do, I did learn how to drive like a tattoo pretty quickly uh, since I arrived here. Yeah, it was kind of funny. The last time that we were stuck in traffic when we had it on our stories back on that trucker's road. I uh, I called my parents and was showing them. The oh truck. yeah. And they were like, "What? What are they doing?" And I was like, it's "Just another day, kid." It's like it's a one way this way, one way this way, and then you were at one way this way and six lanes. Not even this one way. way this way anymore. Like it just. Yeah, no, no, yeah. That's they true. blocked it. And the Everyone was going to, to the, the yeah. Like, the military showed up to like push through. people uh, aside because it was like too crazy. Yeah. So. It happens. It does it happen. happen. Any girls on this chat? Where's a good place to get my hair cut? Potentially dyed more blonde. I don't really know. I don't know. That's just somebody else. Oh, I can hear so much. What is with this? 
and then try to pimp them. Yeah. We've seen those like crazy Matatus that have like neons everywhere. And, and like you look inside screens, and see a whole bunch of lights and like stuff. Like TVs and stuff. Yeah. yeah, they look like party buses. Oh, they do. Because they are like, you get like human. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> and he was driving, yeah, the white jersey. Yeah. Um, yes, it's called Start Up. Yeah. Yeah. It's I really think good. it's all in one though, because once I searched it, you couldn't find it. Yeah. But I it's think like it's all one. It's word. about like the the tech world a little bit. Like it's a girl that started cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, and she like made her own. And yeah, it's it's pretty good. Like it's really good. And it's kind of especially season one and two, they're pretty action packed because like yeah. there's like gang members and it's pretty good. It is really um, good. And I'm not usually one for that type of show, and I I've actually enjoyed it. Yeah. If you broke it down to Marks and Mara and had to walk out, would a person live to tell about it? I would say. Depends. I I mean, there's always a risk when you're in a vehicle. Talk, talking about that, uh, what was the name of that terrible movie we watched? Oh, um... Extinct? No, we always think it's Endangered Species. Endangered Species. So it's an American movie, like a B-class movie, I would say, that was filmed in M. Baselli. It is so bad. And like they were at Tawi so Lodge, too. Bad. Yeah, they were at Tawi Lodge, and I was like, oh my god, like, we yeah. went there. But like, okay, you're in Kenya, where you see all of the animals, and they decided to do the worst CGI I have ever seen. Yeah, they of made rhinos. they made those rhinos like in computers, and I'm like, why would you do that? Just just drive around, like you'll find real rhinos. And like, not only that, like it was so bad that it looked like the rhino's feet weren't even touching the ground. But just like the texture of the rhino and everything, oh, like it so did bad. not look like a no, real no, rhino no. whatsoever. It was so bad. So bad. And, and, I, like, and again, I you don't have understand. The resource. Yeah. Drive around, you'll find a rhino. Like you're you're shooting a, a real movie. Like, take your time, you'll find a rhino at some point. Or find buy footage online. It's just, it's just Call me. I have, I, have, I have rhino footage in HD. I'll give it to you for ten bucks. Yeah. That, that's Unless great. you're making a real American movie with a big budget, it's going to be much more expensive. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was. It was very interesting. Paul from South Africa. What's up, buddy? Can't wait to go there for the wine. Yeah. Best wine ever. Oh, Ken said he watched Endangered Species. So bad. With the current family visiting Kenya. Yes. And like, it was just portrayed so like, just so terrible. Yeah. <laughs> just terrible. Everything was bad about that movie. <laughs> like. Oh. It had a big potential. Like it was like. Like when we started, we're like, like, oh, okay, okay, this is gonna be decent, and uh, then it just went. As soon as we went with the fake rhinos <laughs> and the fake hyenas, I was like, I'm done. Uh, yeah. <laughs> No, we didn't visit Lake Nakuru National Park. We were supposed to be there like right now, basically. But uh, yeah, probably in August we'll be there. Okay, so here's the thing, because I know we're going to get a lot of comments. I haven't looked at it yet, but I've already seen some come through. Um, and they said, should have let your friends say hi and maybe hear their comment about your trip on the morrow. So we, this is the lifestyle we have chosen for each other. Yeah. Um, we don't force it on them, and they did not want to be in front of the camera. And we respected that yeah. choice. Like we always like, we told them, hey, this is what we're going to do, um, because it is part of our job. And, and they wanted to come. There was just a condition that they didn't want to be on, and I was like, totally fine. Yeah, no problem with that. Well, a lot of people don't like cameras in general. Yeah, like every time I film someone, normally I ask, unless it's like you know somebody in the background, like the waiter when he brings my plate yeah. and everything. Like even when we were but, at uh, Old Calais, like the people in the pool, like ask them, like. It's very yeah. rare that yeah yeah anyways and then they so that's what I'm, <laughs> anyways so that's why you don't see them in there um and it'll probably happen again because we have another trip in there like a few months playing with them so that's all yeah so there are secret friends <laughs> you haven't done a Mizunu cliche like a oh, safari trip and try and hug someone oh my goodness no <laughs> we're not that dumb <laughs> yeah no. <laughs> <laughs> you like Nairobi National Park? Yeah, like, I mean, we've been yeah. there about like three times. Yeah, and to be honest, like if we had a weekend on the board, I'd still go back there. Yeah, like it's good enough. Like, like, I mean, it's not flowers. it's not fantastic. Like you know, there's not as many animals and everything, but like it's still like you know, it's so convenient because it's literally like twenty minutes away from our house. Yeah, yeah. Um, have you been to Mombasa? Uh, no, not yet, but we will. We will. Yeah. Us where? Um, what was the money transfer app? Um, so if that one was Lemonade Finance, you'll find it in the App Store or Google, yeah. whatever that one Google is. Google Play App Store. If you just go down in the description of this video, um, it's right there. Um, it's the second, third link 
There's yeah. a big paragraph that say, are you in Canada with some friends and family living in but Canada, also, Nigeria, okay. UK, Europe? Uh, also, con- also condition now, um, your bank has to have the option of... Every bank, it's not a thing, it's just my bank, that's weird. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. But like sending without having yeah. a question. So anyway, if you use your, our, our code down there, download the app for free, use our code, and your first transfer, you'll get 10% money back. Yeah. Free money, guys! We're Day giving you free money. No specifics. It's it's all the instructions. Okay. Um, have you seen the movie where the kids go to sleep and they get out from your and do it and they're stuck there and wide? <laughs> no, but that sounds like a very lovely movie. A very cliche, like yeah. Yeah, the storyline is acceptable. That's what yeah. I'm saying. It was a good story, poorly executed. Yeah. yeah. The movie just had so much potential. Yeah. But. Because of the CGI. But I'm like, I'm, I'm like, it, it's just blowing my mind that like at some point there's literally like rhino shots that it's literally just a rhino. The, yeah. the, it's not like the rhino is at, attacking someone or whatever, something that you can't do in real life. It was just rhino shots. Like just, just yeah. get a real rhino. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, did that? No. Yeah. Oh, so oh, sorry. Guys, I'm just like my foot. <laughs> Um, have you watched Out of Africa yet? Yes, we have actually. When we were in. Actually, no. no. That was a while ago. Yeah, so sometimes we make videos and then other, we make other videos. It just and gets then the first video push. gets pushed back and everything. We did a like video in like a, a massive treehouse in Karen. And that video we actually uh, watched Out of Africa. It's okay. It's like I wasn't ready to. to to watch a movie that was that long, it's like three hours. Yeah, the storyline and everything was really is good. good. It, it, and it gives us like a good hours. understanding of like yeah. the background story, the colonization and everything. Yeah. Um, it's it's a good movie overall, but it's yeah. just like it's a little it's it's long and it's a little slow. But you know, and it's then very again, too. we went into it thinking it was like an hour and a half movie, and we should have looked, but it was three hours. And yeah. We were starving by the end. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Yes, I do have a day job. Sadly, traveling is not my full-time job. That's the goal. That's the goal, Catherine. One day. One day, one day. Maybe. Earthquake. <laughs> one day. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it wasn't. It didn't look like a low-budget movie, to be honest. But because, it had like, to have been. Yes, but at the same time, like the actors in it, like they weren't random. Like I saw those two people. Like, yeah, but I remember random. even once, like I feel like there's something to do with the producer or something because I remember once looking at the colors and I was like, your color correction on this movie is, is like terrible. Yeah. Like way to the max, and I was like, mm, yeah. I don't anyway. know. There's just little points yeah. that. Yeah. But yeah, not a that not a huge budget movie for sure. No, <laughs> and it's just funny because you look at not saying like. It should be that way, but like you look at the different types of CGI you can do now, and like the Lion King. Well, that's another level. Like, I know. It's funny, like so many people are talking about Nakuru. Like, yes, we will visit Nakuru. It's just funny because we, we were supposed to be on Nakuru yesterday and today, and we couldn't make it because of the traffic due to the rally. So yes, we know it's beautiful. We're coming probably in August now. So. When you get a dog, what breed? Um. Either like a Burning Mountain dog or a Golden Doodle. Yeah. It's just like, I really, I would prefer a Burning Mountain dog, but it, it sheds like crazy, which a Golden Doodle doesn't really because shed. Because if you're gonna get a dog that sheds, personally, I freaking love Golden Retrievers. They're my favorite. Yeah, but wow, that's, they're so weak. Such a weak breed. That's all right. But no, but like they get cancer, they get hip problems, I like. Know. Well, you don't want a dog that's gonna die sick. No, <laughs> but I mean he's already alive, so I can just I can give him a good life until he dies from cancer and suffering. And then we'll get a new dog. That's not how it works. <laughs> Shit. Just get a new dog. Hopefully nothing's gonna happen to you. Otherwise, just get a new one. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that's a way to manage. Just get another one. No, Why shouldn't sad. I give it the best life? Because you're gonna have, you're gonna be sad when it gets super. But that's sick. okay, because it would have had a great life. Um, were you surprised by the amount of vegetation and forest cover in Nairobi? Yes. Yes. 
That was like one of our, what we know, consider like culture yeah. shops. Like you know what M. Vaselli looks like? I thought, <laughs> can you mean Semru? Okay, no, no, Semru was, no, Semru was like, Semru looks like a desert. But to me, I... Yeah, M. Vaselli, yeah. like where it's like, you know, just like, sometimes there's like high grass and a tree once in a while. I really thought they would get to be, it was going to be like that to be honest, I'm not going to lie. Yes, Jay, you can call me David or Dave. It, knock yourself out. <laughs> Um, oh, now we're going to ask those 29th first place. Yeah, it's very possible to bump into you. I'm sorry, I got some in my eye. Just keep You're going to survive? You want me to blow it? Is it? Is it good? <laughs> no, it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see. No, I don't know that guy, Moses. Oh. Never heard of him. I thought you said we're going to say German Shepherd or Rottweiler, but it's fine. No. I mean, I do like German Shepherd, but like, they're not very good family dogs, so. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, yeah. David was my art teacher's name. Ooh, I'm really not artsy. Oh. Technically, but he also looks like this art. I'm very artsy. <laughs> Not drawing arts. Yeah. Um. Anyone? Why did you do Dave Manny instead of David Manny? Shorter, easier. I wanted something as short as possible. Like most people call me Dave, so. But to be honest, I think even like out of like your friends and everything, I'm the only like. I'm the one who still calls you David. Probably. I very rarely call people by their nickname, and I don't know why. But it, like, it's just a thing. Um, like, it's funny if you look back at some of the videos, I like called you Dave to keep up with Dave Manny. And then after you're like, it's really weird when you call me Dave. And I was like, okay, yeah. done. <laughs> <true. laughs> no, it's around. We don't want Dave <laughs> in the comments. <laughs> I got it, I got it. <laughs> Yes. yes. Every time you guys talk about a place in Kenya, 99% of the time the answer is going to be yes, we will at some point. It's and just, again, just with the day jobs, sometimes if, if it's farther, yeah. it just Maru is kind of far too, but yeah, we will for sure. Yeah, we just need to take a little bit I want to go to an old. Oh, yeah, you told me that. The bear place? Bear I want to I wanna see the one and only bear in Kenya. It's like K E N G and it's G. Anyways, yeah, we want to go. Ogi? Ogi? Whatever. You guys. Uh, drawing or flying somewhere, which one did you enjoy the most? So it's different. Yeah, so when we went to the Boise Conservancy, we had a really good drive because it was that road was tarmac straight up to the Conservancy. Uh, but I hear if you go to different parts of the Mara that it is not like that at all. To be so, honest, like if I can pick, I'll I'll fly there. Like it's just so it's much convenient. more convenient. You go to the airport here, park the car. Take the plane, yeah. land there, somebody's waiting for you with a truck and some champagne, and you're like, this is it, perfect. But it's also like four, five, six, seven yeah. times the price? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> so more, that's why we... More like 10, but yeah. yeah it's about and 10 times And where we travel every like, weekend, like it, yeah. it adds up. We drive, oh, joking, yeah. Um, but yeah, basically, like, we, we normally drive everywhere just to save money. Like, we just cannot afford to, to fly anywhere. The only place where we always fly is the coast, just because it's really far. Yeah. Really far. Yeah. But it's drivable, but I don't want to. Yeah, pretty much. Um, what do we think about the internet in Kenya? It's okay. Like, it's much better than what I thought. Yeah. It's not excellent, but it's very good. Yeah. <laughs> Jay. My name is Jay. The shortest you can get is Jay. <laughs> yeah, well, fair enough. <laughs> you can call me D. <laughs> D-Man. Demon. 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 Yeah. Old Jogi, I think, is going to be nice. Like, there's there's this one camp in Old Jogi that, like, looks like it's another level. I haven't looked at camps there. It is phenomenal. But you get to book the entire camp. You can't. I was like, but can I just get, like. Places like that. You can't just get a tent. 
you get a book the entire tent. Oh, the what's entire the one? tent is like ten thousand dollars a night or something. What's the one in Lakitia that we want to go to? It's on like a, a bucket list because it's oh super the house nice. yeah, Erajuju, something like that. Erajuju, yeah. Dang. It's like a castle or something. Like it's phenomenal, but it's like seven thousand dollars US a night. I think. Is it? The entire thing is yours and see why. Yeah, yeah. No, I actually I feel like it's only like four or five. Still, but like unobtainable. Yeah, very uh, too, too much. Especially so for we're gonna grow a little bit more yeah. and then reach out and see what happens. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Try using Zoo food. Oh, they use Zoo food. But, but that's what we Oh yes, we do use they need us, like yeah. they need us. Yeah, yeah Safari so we honestly we have been meaning to look into Safari Com and Switch for months now. It's just but a hassle thing, of switching. The thing is, is like 95% of the time, our internet is like more than good enough. Like, you know Oh, what you I, know what? That has not lagged at all this entire thing. Yeah, us. that's what I was going to say. Sometimes it's only yeah. when we do lives, sometimes that like, it's kind of iffy. Yeah. But like right now, even the quality seems good, which never happens. Are you on data? I'm really like... No, no. Questioning. No. But um, yeah, that, when I upload videos on YouTube, yes, it like, you know, uploading the same video in Canada would take 45 minutes, here it takes like, you know, 12 hours, but at the same time, I, I do it at night, and when I wake up in the morning, it's done, like, I, I don't Just need, it I don't it's need fun. a faster internet. The only thing that pisses me off with Zuku, it's like, since we, since we arrived 10 months ago, twice it happened that we didn't have internet for days. Yes, or sometimes it'll, like... Okay, so like, yeah, and like all the lights are on, they're like, oh, I don't know. And then like a couple hours later, it's not. Yeah. But one time we didn't have internet for like four days, four or five days or something. And they're like, oh, we're doing like something in your Upgrade. infrastructure. Well, okay, well, it's not my fault. Like you can't shut down internet for four days. Or give a warning for it at least. Like yeah. send an email to your customers being like, hey, yeah. this is going to happen. And like give me a five day credit. Yeah. Anyway. Jay, when's your birthday? If you want to say. Um, the great dude on these thoughts about them. Um, yeah, we'll start with 50, <laughs> which should have been in like two to three weeks, yes. which is going to be a great milestone. But yeah. How much does it cost to buy a drone like yours? Uh, it's about, how much did I pay? About $2,000. US? Uh, no, Canadian. So like about about seven, 17 or 1800 dollars US. I think it's like I paid one thousand a hundred and eighty thousand cash, maybe something like that. One hundred and sixty thousand, maybe. One hundred and sixty-seven. One hundred and sixty-seven. One hundred and sixty-seven thousand cash. There you go. One hundred sixty-seven thousand. Yeah. Is that convert right? Yeah. Trace is very bad cash to US. I just dollars. for some reason my head I can't picture it. Anyways, um, August eleventh. Well. That would be fantastic if we have 100,000 by August yes. 11th. I hope you know a lot of people, Jay. Start, start, <laughs> telling, start telling your people. <laughs> First time catching live from the US. So yeah, we wanted to, doing it on a Sunday and the time, we were trying to experiment and see if we could get more time zones yeah. in. To be honest, like the one time that like we saw, like because normally like all our lives, it's like you know, around 100 people pretty much yeah. steady all the time. Um, but the one, you remember the one time we did it on a Saturday afternoon, I think, and we had like 300, which was like so yeah, much Yeah, that more. was rare. We were like going like 225 strong mm -hmm. the entire, the entire night and hit 300 at, at some point actually. So yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Thanks for that, Jay. Now I can see it. Yes. 267. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what drone are you using? Uh, currently use the... DJI Air 2S, which is the newest drone that DJI made. It's fantastic. Uh, I don't care what everyone says. There's only one drone that's like more expensive kind of thing and like supposed to be better, but like I but really don't agree. Is that the FPV one? No, no. Oh. Um, it's the Mavic Pro. But like I'm telling you, like the Air 2S is just phenomenal. And I still use like the DJI Mini sometimes because I fixed it. I crashed it. You did fix it. It was broke. It, it was broken like six months. Only because you procrastinated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I, then I fixed it. And yeah. now I have a, a beautiful DJI Mavic Air two uh, that's on the shelf. That's dead forever. Dead. <laughs> but yeah, 
Air two less. That's the Canon R five was five thousand dollars. Yeah. Yeah, I wish I could buy a Canon R five. To be honest, I think for our camera, I don't think we'd actually upgrade the body of the camera for a really long time. I'd like to, but really, I'd love to, but I like I'm not going to spend five thousand dollars. But I feel like we can get away with switching lenses for a couple of years before oh, we sure. actually upgrade the body. That's where I was going with that. Yeah, yeah. Five point one resolution. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, but like the thing is, is like even if I had like a capacity of doing five point one K, I wouldn't. Because first of all, ninety nine percent of the people do not have an eight K TV, so it's useless. Like even if I produce eight K content, for, like, nobody watches it in eight K. And like right now, like I produce content sometimes in four K, and most people in Kenya can't watch anything in four K because the internet speed is not fast. Yeah, we were getting a lot of comments on the one video you did, or no, you put a post or something, and there, most people are still watching 780p and a couple even yeah. in the 720p. The only reason why I do 4K content right now is because those videos are going to be able to live longer on the yeah. platform, because in like two, three years, where when everyone has 4K, and the internet is better and everything, then like, those videos are still going to be relevant, where like, people are going to be like, less willing to watch 1080p, because oh my god, that's so bad. Knows. Yeah. <laughs> Does Tracy still get mad when you invite her for a run? So here's the thing. Mm -hmm. Running is actually something... Okay, you've always ran. I started getting into it before we moved here. And it was kind of like my, my me time. But it's a good and bad thing. Because if I tell him I want to go for a run later, like, do you want to come? If I all of a sudden get lazy and don't feel like going, <laughs> then he's like, no, we're going. And I'm like, but... <laughs> so then I get mad. <laughs> yeah, <sure. laughs> yeah. Jay's like talking about all those very expensive cameras that I really want to buy. But oh, I know. Yeah, can't afford those. So Jay, watch me 4K. <laughs> hey, guys, don't forget I have a, a new MPSA link where you can support the channel. It's uh, the pin link uh, at the top of the chat. So please support the channel so I can buy a very expensive camera that Jay's talking about. <laughs> right now, I can't afford it. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully we will do meet and greet in the future. Um, not hopefully, we will actually. And we will we pretty for much sure. picked out the spot. Yeah, it's saw. probably going to be at Nairobi Street, Street Kitchen because it's pretty cool. Yeah. And yesterday we did didn't do a meet and greet, but it felt like it because like we it, was, it was phenomenal. Like, like thirty to forty of you guys, nonstop. Yeah. Like every time we were like turning a corner, somebody was like hi hi hi. We took a bunch of photos and everything. Yeah. And there's those two girls when we left. They made me feel like freaking Justin Bieber. They saw us and they started to scream. And I was like, what's going on? It was the on? best reaction we've had. It was so funny. Like, it was, oh, it was yeah, so they were the best. Good, they were so cool. Yeah. Anyway, so I felt like Justin Bieber. Yeah. drives which specific wild animal have you come to love and appreciate and why is that my absolute favorite animal like top top favorite is elephants i just think they're so majestic yeah. and like they have like a grand i don't know there's just something yeah. about them that put off that like yeah. vibe. they're just majestic i really yeah. like i really like elephants do the brown my favorite i really like giraffes i find giraffes very interesting too. hippos are fun yeah hippos are fun just, but like, but I really like every time I see like one of the big cats, like it's very impressive too. But I was in my my favorite also are also elephant and like when we went to Samburu, that was like best safari because like those elephants were coming so close, like so close. The yeah. and even the guys were explaining to us that like Samburu's elephants are just different. They're, They're just different more. They don't care as much. They were coming super close to the truck, almost like rubbing their back to so them. So the didn't way care. they kind of explained it is like they're kind of used to people, whereas in the Mara and everything, as much as they're people, there's almost like a genetic component, not genetic, but like through the line with like all the poaching and everything, like the family of elephants have taught their yeah, baby elephants scared. to be scared and like to warn off and be yeah. aggressive. So that's why those elephants still have a bit of a different temperament, but it's kind of cool. I'm the Kenyan Justin Bieber. Oh no. Um, Jay says, don't go a trip for a trip for a month and save up for camera. That is, that is possible, but then you guys get less yeah, content. Yeah, you, you don't get content. Thought it was hippos. 
So hippos is like my favorite funny animal, if that makes sense. So second favorite animal, I still just think they're funny, but for like beautiful, is elephants. Yeah. Uh, English Point Marina. No, I haven't heard of that, but we can check it out. Yeah. We're always looking for new suggestions. So. <laughs> you little <Yeah>. monkey. <laughs> Tracy, if you want a proper encounter with elephants, do. Okay, where is that? It's, there's a place with the beautiful like waterfall in the forest and stuff. You're never there? No. Uh, no, it's a little bit further than that, I think. But like, you need to like go there and like walk with a guard and stuff. Okay, I'll check it out. Sembruka and Vasali elephant, different. Sembruka because they come super close and they're very like friendly. But and Vasali, I mean, they're huge. The elephants the look tusk, the, more beautiful. Yeah. And like when you see the herd of like 70 elephants walking in a path, yeah. there's something yeah. about it like you just... Yeah. Semuru, Semuru, like it's nothing impressive, it's just cool because they come so close to you. Yeah. But Ambicelli elephants are always going to win for sure. Yeah. Oh, and then you... Okay. <laughs> Where's my music album coming out? Jay! I We're, told you, stop encouraging Working on it. Yeah. <laughs> One million downloads on Spotify, let's go! <laughs> Where's his wardrobe? Yeah, I am. Yeah, no safari so around. That's okay. So early. We tried, didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good, I don't need socks, I'm fine, they're fine. See? He has new ones upstairs that he refuses to wear because he says these ones are still good to wear. They're still good. I disagree. Okay, I'll throw it to him then. Thank you. Maybe. Thank you. Normally, like, I just put them in. Um, Oh, earthquake! <laughs> uh, normally I just put them like uh, <laughs> normally I just put them like uh, to get, get clean and then I never see them again because Tracy take them and like throw them. I do. <laughs> favorite water brand? My favorite water brand? Yeah. I don't know. Water. Water? The clear one? To, I have to say here, when you guys have bottled water, the bottled water doesn't taste different so much per brand. Back home, like, some bottled water is pure gross. Yeah. I know that sounds weird, Yeah. You but I don't find it as very... Kenya has a very good consistency on water taste. Seriously? Yeah. Good. I know that sounds weird, but hiking in there is harder than walking around. Well, sure. definitely you should... No, it is. Uh... Uh, it's great that your channel shows that Kenya has to offer. May your YouTube grow mentally. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> the current socks are my favorite socks right now. Update me. Tracy, because she's a pillow. What's wrong with the pillow? Maybe it's OCD that she couldn't see it. <laughs> it's very possible. <laughs> oh, you should send me the wine glass my sister sent me. Where is it? It's in, you know where my grandfather's old candy dispensing machine is right there? It's right there. My sister sent me um, a wine glass, and it is the cutest thing ever. I can't see it from here. It's got Mickey and Minnie and a heart on it. Isn't it lovely? Lovely. It's the best. It's the best. It's the best. Don't drink Dasani. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about. Back home we have Dasani and Aquafina and Dasani water. Dasani's good. That's my favorite. Oh, see, I don't like Dasani. Oh, no, no, Dasani. No, it's Aquafina that's good. No, opposite. I don't like Aquafina. I like Dasani. Oh. I'm pretty sure Dasani is your spell. Jay doesn't like Dasani. That's fine. Um, name your worst and it would have yeah it would have been what we escaped well no it. because we escaped it but it could have been the worst experience of our life because we could have been there literally for 12 hours some people were actually there for 11 hours yeah. um but when we were in um but on like, that trucking road my mom no that water. wasn't the worst the, no the worst was probably like you know sometimes when we get stuck in cbd you remember that time we went to uh, four <laughs> points by the by the airport oh uh, yeah that was probably the I worst i blocked that because it was just <laughs> 
It was, it was super hot, crazy traffic. We weren't going anywhere. It was a night. We literally, and it was like, yeah, the sun, was, middle yeah. of the day, no yeah. AC, all that was, day. That was probably it was the worst. Not nice. Who in the world like dislike this a lot? I don't know, Jay. <laughs> I really don't. Know. There's always that one person. By the way, if you didn't like this slide, <laughs> give us some likes. Jay gives y'all a plug. Yeah. Likes are like our free currency. Helps and costs nothing. Interesting. Dasani puts more salt in it to make you more thirsty. I can believe that. I did, I did hear that yeah. for sure. I can definitely believe that. Here, just like your normal aqua mist. Or there's one that comes from Great Rift. It starts with a K. Like Kachiri or something. Oh. Yeah, I noticed it. It's good. Sparkling water. I like pretty much all the water. Yeah. Yes, the expressway construction. Yeah, I know it's unbelievable. Panarin, I'm pretty sure it is. No, not Panarin. Mm -hmm. Sankara, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh, no, that's no, Westlands. That's, yeah. No, I'm sure. What was the one by the airport that everyone keeps suggesting? Oh, uh, West. Ole Serena. Ole Serena. Or Ole oh. something. Anyways. Must be that Barney dude. <laughs> 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 Barney the dinosaur. Sorry. Barney is a dinosaur. I'm pretty sure that is not the lyrics. Yeah. Do you know what this name of? No. <laughs> it's a singing tune. B I N G O. <laughs> See, it's much worse when Tracy sings. <laughs> I think I'm tired. <laughs> What's my next car? I don't think I'm gonna change car like while I'm here, but as soon as I go back to Canada, I'll buy a BMW. There you go, J. <laughs> yeah, I would like to buy an M2. That's what I'd like. Damn. Camp Laszlo? Where's that? Time to Google. You're gonna Google it? I'm gonna Google it. Google yeah, Karin, Karin, yeah. I cannot say that. What's that? The water. Oh. You're not Googling right now, you're looking at other things. I know, I was like, oh, you want to see how annoying this is? I don't think you can see it. Today, I had one, two, three, four, five different spam numbers call me, and four of them were like all back to back from the same number. Like, we get like random calls. I get random calls. When, calls when you pick up, it's like, a, how do you call that? Like, um, this is a collect call. Do you yeah. agree to the charges? No. Non stop no. call. Tracy's phone. It's very annoying. It is. Some people are saying like it's people from prison that are trying to scam or whatever. It is because if it's a collect call, no, it's no, that doesn't mean anything. Like I can I can collect call you. Really? Yeah. It's just a but like if you don't know the number, what are the chances of you actually gonna pay like everyone I, that I need to talk to are in my phone? You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like there's no. Yeah. Oh well. The cartoon. I don't know. Because I have a VPN on, every time I use Google, it makes me do this. Really? Yeah, it's because really you don't leave me alone. Always. It's on. Oh, Mike always makes me do it. I'm yeah. down my stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Messed up. Reverse call is not prison. Hmm. Hmm. I always thought it was. Yeah. Hmm. I have the 2020 X6. Whoa, whoa, whoa Jay. Daddy has. <laughs> Let's be honest here. <laughs> It's, I like every BMW though. I like, so the ones when we first left Canada, well, yeah, like a year ago, those ones of the SUV style, I don't even know what they are. Anyways, I really like those ones. So my plan is when we go back to Canada, they'll be cheaper. Yeah. And then I can buy, buy like a one. four year old one. <laughs> or maybe like the new Land Rover Defender. See? Yeah, so the Barney Town and the Bingo Town sound similar. Yeah, they do. We're both it's, right. Yeah. Not just the dinosaur. No, no. Blind your imagination. Na, 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 na. Bingo na, was his na, na, name. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <well. laughs> <laughs> we need to go here too. I say every time someone says the Lake Magadi hot springs. Hot springs. Where is that? Lake Magadi. <laughs> okay. Is it on your list somewhere? I can 
use my phone because it's filming. I love you, Coco Mama list. <laughs> okay. When you guys give us like suggestions, we just add it to Pretty sure it is there, but so. where do they get your phone number from? And that's what I don't question. know. We don't really give our phones to nobody, so I guess no. it's kinda weird that like But they've just like they haven't discovered David's, but mine like no, it's not. We block them and it'll give them like a few days and then like another set of numbers yeah. finds it out and I'm like, I don't understand this. Um, in Canada, we drive on the opposite side of Kenya. So the right side of the road. Not like right in signs of right, but right like, like the okay side. Like most of the world drive on the other side of the road. So it was quite an adjustment when we, uh, when we arrived here, but it's fine. Yeah. It's to the point now though that like to be honest, when I drove it's my friend's car... It's going to be weird to go back to Canada. Yeah, but like when I jumped in my friend's car, when I drove it, I actually wasn't thinking about what side to drive on. Yeah. The only thing sometimes on turns, it really messes with Like yeah. I have to think about it, but... Um, reverse calls when you want to call someone, but you don't have air time. Mm -hmm. But also, I would mix up the call from a foreign number. Yeah. Not exactly, right? Like, so. yeah, anyone who needs to contact me, I have their number on my phone. Um, um, I don't know about five minutes ago. Me neither. Can you say about the difference, the different culture like in South Africa? Oh. Like, I'll, okay, so if this one, living among Kenyans, what can you say is the different cultures you have been taught? I'm just going to say, like, difference mainly that we notice here. For one, like, the entire Maasai culture is completely new. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, completely new. And I don't even know where to start there other than it's all new. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and that aside, like, Kenyans hustle. Oh my goodness. And I think Kenyans have a great work ethic because yeah. of it. Canadians are lazy. Yeah. Um, I think we've yeah. been, I don't know. But like, yeah, but the overall, like, but on the plus side, like, on you guys are, are less lazy, but like in Canada, like, maybe like, we're just, there's, it's more open-minded, if I, if I can say. How so? Like, all the things that we don't talk on our YouTube channel. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's fair. There are people who are like, yeah. like, more easily accepted. Yeah. But that's, yeah. yeah. But Kenyans work harder, much harder. Yeah, they definitely do. Have you made chapatis at home yet? No. With, with the Kenyan chef, but not on our own uh, yet. No, we haven't. Yeah. To be honest, the last few weeks, I have gotten extremely lazy with cooking, and we have yeah. just done bare minimum yeah. of like meal prep more so. You two touch your butt with churro. Yeah, but I can't. Darkness is an ingredient. Yeah. Darkness. Darkness? You can only eat it in the dark. Oh. That's, yeah, it's, okay. So like, I mainly answer the comments, and so sometimes I tell you, but yeah. You have to eat mature matura in the dark. You're not allowed to eat it in the light though, so you can see it. Yeah. So like when you look inside mature, like it doesn't look great because you can see different things. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's why darkness is an essential ingredient. The, the taste is okay. There's an aftertaste of blood, I'm not gonna lie. And it's a little chewy, like texture wise. I mean I'm not I'm never eating that again. <laughs> I understand it's a delicacy, and I'm sure if I would, I would have been raised on Matura, yeah. I would, I would love it. But it's not something I was raised on, so like I'm not, I can't. I just can't. Yeah. Just like. Well, back home, back home, liver and onions is a big older generation thing. Yeah. I don't know if that's. So, I don't think that's Canadian though. I what, think it's a generation. Mm -hmm. No, liver and onions. You mean liver? Oh yeah, yeah. I don't think it's Canadian though. No, but I eat liver over Matura though. Um, yeah, but if you have to, I don't know. Yeah. See, I would eat. I would eat termites before eating mature. That I could agree on. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's how I feel about mature. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Darkness, because you don't want to be seen eating it. Yeah. <laughs> Were you surprised how many Toyotas are in Kenya? Uh, uh, no, Toyotas is the you know. They're the most sold cars in the entire world. And just, so just different, like we have a lot of Toyotas back home, but different vehicles. 
Well, like yeah. Iraq was very popular. Yeah, I mean, like most of Africa, most of Asia, like uh, you know, and plus there's a lot in Europe and America as well. I mean, Toyota is everywhere. So. Yeah. There's, yeah. there's not more Toyota here than there is everywhere else. There, There's more Toyota sold every single year than any other car brand. Because so. it's reliable. I miss my Toyota. I actually yeah, have a Toyota. Tracy, I don't want to be for. Love from Halifax, Nova Scotia. Hello, Hello. Samuel. <laughs> what were we going to say? There's something you do in Halifax. I don't know. <laughs> I was looking in the dark and there was like Transformers or something exploding under the Street today, oh, and it all blocked up. Nice. Samuel, <laughs> by the way, if you still have family in Kenya, we have this new service. <laughs> Check out Lemonade in the description down below. It's like a new service to send money from Canada to your families and friends yeah. in Kenya, Nigeria, and other country. And if you subscribe with our link and use our code, you get 10% money back. And first transaction. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. You send a thousand dollars, get a hundred dollars for free. It's just three hundred bucks. You're welcome. Ah. <laughs> uh. <sighs> yeah. So like you know, like most of you, like John, just to answer your question, like basically, I have like a normal like day job in an office, consulting kind of job. It's just like we we just don't address um, like the exact job or company that we work for um, just just to keep a line between our professional job or professional life and like our social media life mm -hmm. like my my job they know what i do on social media but you know they don't want to be associated in any way uh, with what i do online yeah. so that's why like there's a line there it's like i don't have a secret job i don't do anything crazy it's just i, I just keep a, a line in between we actually explained that in more depth um, in our Q and A that we did on the coast, yeah. but yeah, like basically, like uh, That's awesome. I have a really normal office job. It's nothing crazy. Like uh, I don't work for the Secret Service or anything. Like that. <laughs> so yeah, well, I'm just like your squad. Yeah, something like that. that. But, yeah. Yeah. Um, do you have a Peza kind of technology back home? No, because basically, like we don't need it. So all of our credit cards, like you could tap and pay. Yeah. So basically, okay, like in Canada, like everyone has a bank account, but most people in Africa don't have bank account. Therefore, they need uh, a M-Pesa because now your bank account is basically your cell phone. So there, there's no need for a service like M-Pesa in Canada. Yeah, Venmo. No, actually, we don't have Venmo. The no. states but, does, yeah. but Canada does. But Venmo is not. Yeah, it's. I, I mean, like we, you know, in Canada we have Venmo. There's Venmo in Canada. No. Anyway, we have like PayPal. Heard, but. Um, but it's not PayPal. It's not really like in Like it's not as convenient, but you you can keep money on PayPal. So I mean, it's kind of similar. But nobody uses pay, like you can't go to the grocery store and use PayPal. You can't go to the restaurant and use PayPal. You can't go to the gas station and use PayPal. No, you know it's I mean? like cash. Or cash. It's yeah. So everyone in Canada uses cards. Because like, or you don't even. Or you need like link to your like, watch and you pay with your yeah, watch. Yeah, like in Canada, like I can pay with my watch. I just put my watch on the machine and it just pays from yeah. my credit card. Like it's yeah, magic. The magicness. Yeah, it's like a magic thing. <laughs> Fair. Mm -hmm. Tell us about more light during summer and more darkness in Canada during solstice. Oh yeah, that's true. There's yeah, no here. that's something that I actually enjoy that it's not here. Yeah, because um, in Kenya there's always twelve hours of light, twelve hours of dark it darkness. Like an hour. Yeah, something yeah. like that. But sometimes, like in Canada, at literally like four p.m. in the afternoon, it's dark. Yeah, so your longest point in the winter, like that's what I hate it with shift work because I would go home in the dark and come. No, I'd go to work in the dark and come home in the dark. Yeah. So like that sucked because like I said, four thirty and it's already dark out. Um, but then you go in the summer, like summer solstice was the 21st of June, which is their longest day of the year, and it's probably light by like quarter after five and gets dark by yeah. like nine at night. So, yeah, like it's very it's, it's different. different, and I don't like it. I'd rather to have I would rather 12, this. 12, you know, like, yeah, like, as much as sometimes you might not get the light in the morning yeah. or the evening, it's just a consistency. Aren't there like rural parts of Canada? Yeah, there's more rural parts in the Canada city. than city. Like, just to give you an example, like Canada is probably about twenty five times bigger than Kenya. With, with like something like that. Yeah. Um. So yeah, Canada is huge, 
and most of Canada is like inhabited. Yeah. There's nobody. So we have huge cities with millions of people, like cities bigger than Nairobi. We're the, I learned this the other day. The We're the second largest country. That's, that blows my mind that you in just learned that. No, 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 <laughs> this part, the second part. We're the second largest country in the world, and we have less than 0.5% of the world's population in our country. Yeah. That's the part that I like, Yeah, I was like, <laughs> no, I mean, it's just that. that. There's more people living in Kenya than people living in Canada. There's 54 million people living in Kenya-ish, give or take. There's about 38 million people living in Canada, and Canada's like 20 times as big, uh, bigger yeah. than Kenya. So, yeah, most of the most of the country is like nothing. Shout out to the whole of the South. Woo! <laughs> no, we weren't able to watch the car race. Well, we probably we watched a couple. We watched of a little bit of yeah on YouTube, but, but we didn't manage to get yeah. there. Long story. Go here. <laughs> Uh, what's the best tourist destinations in Canada? It depends on where. I would say like, I, I mean, like, if you've never been to Canada, like, I would say like Toronto is oh, a good place to start because there's it's a big city. You're close to Niagara Falls. Yeah. Um, I feel like there's a lot to do in Toronto because yeah. you can knock out like Niagara Falls. You can go to like I don't know. You can go to like the CN Tower. There's a bunch of museums, there's like a ton of restaurants, yeah. there's a lot to do in Toronto. I also think, I'm not going to lie, maybe I'm biased, but um, honestly Nova Scotia, Halifax has a lot of cool like waterfront style things. Yeah, Toronto is really, really nice. <laughs> but they don't really have that waterfront like little... Yeah. No, I mean like comparable to like PEI and like the little tiny... Yeah, they you took me there and it was not there. Okay. So they did. Oh, Port Montreal, I would say more. Yeah. Anyway, I would say, I, but I'd say overall, like Toronto would be a better destination because there's more. Okay, fair. Yes. But very, I mean, like, very city like, but any, any big city in Canada would be like a good, I think. If like, you like cities. Yeah. You, you know what? I would, no, I would even say, I would say Montreal would be better. Old Port Montreal, I would say, yeah. is better than... Montreal is, a, is the An second, city. second largest city. You're, you're two hours away from Quebec City. Yeah. You're six hours away from Toronto. I would agree with that. Yeah. So Montreal is better. Rent a car, then you can go see Quebec City. You can go see Toronto. Because everything is like within a six-hour drive. So. Yeah. yeah. I agree. So it has lots of that like city, like... Montreal? Downtown. No, I'm, I know, but I think like Old Port Montreal, Old Quebec City, like that mm -hmm. type of vibe. Yeah. Um, great channel. We will be following you guys from Cape Town. Town. We will be there someday. Yep. Yeah. Canada Survivor would like to visit the game reservations one, resorts one day. For sure. Yeah. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I've heard a lot about BC. We've just never been there, which yeah, is no, why no. I can't really say anything. I mean, it's great yeah. because like there's no really there's no real winter there. It's pretty much warm year round, so like that's pretty good. Um, but it's beautiful. But like BC is extremely expensive. Everything's expensive in BC. Like buy a lot. Jay's mom says hello. She just turned the stream. Hello. Hello, Jay's mom. Jay shows up for everything. <laughs> He's great. And he brings his family now. Yeah. Um, what's the most common business people prefer to have in Canada? Like in Kenya, it's mostly hardware or grocery stock shop. Coffee shops, maybe? It's very diverse. Canada's very diverse. I mean, There's a lot of like little hole in the wall. I call it hole in the wall, but like not in a bad way. Um, restaurants and coffee shops. And that's usually where you'll find like the best authentic -y food from around yeah. the world. Really good coffee. But like most sauce. in Canada, it's not like in Kenya. Like people don't open shops. Normally, like we have brands. Yeah. So it's normally like brand store like american brands um but how is this quite i know yeah, just but you know, that's you know what i mean yeah, like yeah. it's there's not a lot of like little store like little family kind yeah. of store online business is a new big thing coming up yeah, right now sure. like little tiny boutiques online that yeah. would be a big thing from mexico we love kenya foods L lottie my wife was born in kenya grew up in the uk oh well, that's awesome cool and you're from texas I awesome. do like Texas. Never been, but I love it. <laughs> Everything is bigger and better in Texas. Yeah. Fair. <laughs> and Peza Concept, it's not about having a bank account or not. It's the ease of doing business in terms of transactions. So, uh, I, have a, I have a very strong opinion about investment. Like, 
the reason why, like, I understand what you're saying, but the reason why M-Pesa exists and there's a need for M-Pesa in Kenya yeah. is because nobody, like, not nobody, but a lot of people don't have bank accounts. So M-Pesa fills that need, which is amazing. It's a so very like, great service. So we had service. to buy our car with M-Pesa. But, yeah. And but, it took, like, three days to do because yeah. of M-Pesa. Because of the, the limits and everything, yeah. where in Canada, the, the, there is the ease to do business. Everyone has a card. Everyone in Canada has a card. Yeah. You just tap, pay, and go. It's just beep. Bye. And it's, I could put like the it's, entire car on yeah, car. It's, they're, no, they're, car. Yeah, a lot of people have, there's no limit, it's extremely fast, much faster than M-Pesa, and like, you don't need to do different steps, you don't need, no, it's just like, you, you take your card, you, you just tap it on something and you just leave, it's as easy as that, much, much, much faster than M-Pesa. Yeah. Wait, back home? Oh. <laughs> Like back home, I rarely ever had cash on me. And if I did, no. it was because I was like budgeting my coffee money for the week yeah. so I didn't overspend. Like, but with that this time, Kenya, there's no need to have money either, to be honest. No, that's true. We don't usually have Except cash. for like when you get stopped on the side of the road by the police. And you just tip camps. No, we even attend the camps. Yeah. You went there. You went no, there. No, you track it because they prefer money. Just saying. What's the most common car in Canada? In Kenya, it's Toyota Corolla. Uh, to be honest, it's probably like Toyota a Toyota RAV4. I was going to say Corolla. Yeah, Toyota Corolla, Toyota RAV4. Yeah. No, no. no. In Canada, it's a Honda Civic. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's fair. In Canada, the most popular car is a yeah. Honda Civic, but I would say like Toyota is probably not too far behind. Yeah. What happens when someone steals your car? Can they just buy stuff? Actually, with top, yeah. Yeah, but you're uh, fully covered with your bank. Yeah, so like, as soon as it goes missing, you just call them and they cancel your card and give you one. Yeah, like, and you get you get your money back. Like it's no. Yeah. So basically, like I've had fraud before online. Yeah, and, like, it's it's no big deal. Like, you never lose money or anything. No. You can tap without a code up to a hundred dollars. Yeah. Maybe everything that you buy that's over a hundred dollar, you tap, you put your pin in. So yeah, that's pretty much it. But yeah, it's but yeah, it's, it can happen. But yeah. Looking for good questions. Before you came to Kenya, did you think it was just developed? Um, I knew. Uh, I mean, like I knew, like I knew about Nairobi. Like I knew Nairobi was a big city with I like, stores getting and everything. But like, Google searching once and coming across Village Markets website and looking at the stores yeah. in there. But like, I'm like, like, oh, there's there's sketchers there. Like, yeah, there's not gonna lie. Like when when I like the first time you show up in like two rivers, you're like, oh, okay. Yeah. 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 I do, I do miss my McDonald's and Starbucks, so those oh, are the two fast food places that I, I miss. I miss Chipotle, even though we don't have we it. We don't even have it. it. No, I was going to say we don't have it in Canada, but we actually <laughs> do. Chipotle there. is the best, and Chick-fil-A, even though I've never tried it, but I know I like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my neighbor's also here. Dang, you're just bringing everyone in. Jeez, Jay, we might hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year if you uh, if you continue. No, by your birthday, which is in August, so it's coming. <laughs> you're going to have to tell everyone on your street. Uh, yeah. No, you don't have, in Canada, you don't necessarily have to, like, call your bank to, like, say it's stolen. Like, I normally, like, I could yeah. just do it from my phone. No, I could do it from my phone. Like, I just oh, click, can't. I can click on my app, click stolen, boom, card is canceled, card is blocked and everything. I can't with my bank. You can, but with Scotia. I can. Yeah. Can't. I know how. How do you know how? Because. You live, anyway, it's not important, but it's very, very easy and convenient. I mean, you can just call them. You can call. Tracy doesn't like to call people normally. No, but I call them back. Well, you have to. Exactly. I'm like my father. My father hates picking up the phone, and so do I. I just, mm -hmm. I don't know. It is, it's how it is. It is what it is. If you know, you know. <laughs> oh, Max. <sighs> Kenyan homes, houses slash homes compared to Canada? Uh, I mean, the style is different, but like yeah. I would say Kenyan houses are not isolated, which is... Insulated. Fine for insulated, insulated for like yeah it's not insulated 
and it's fun for like the like the, the climate most of the time. At this time of the year, I wish it was isolated a little. Because like in Canada, all our houses are isolated and they have heat. Insulated. You, uh, you know what I mean. Um, but yeah. Otherwise, again, it's like it looks like. But you don't need, house. yeah. You don't need heat either though. No. And then in the summer, it'd be hot and it would never cool down. So there's that too. So. I think your yard would work with my country people. I love kids. <laughs> Yeah, but like, like, most, like, most people don't lose their car. Like, it's, you don't lose your credit card, like, often. Not losing it, I would assume. Well, it's getting it taken off of you. Well, okay, yeah. Done that to you. Yeah. What do we have for supper? We, we have a modified version of a burrito bowl. Instead of rice, we use potatoes. So, yeah, that's delicious. I, yeah, you compared it to burrito bowl, but earlier you compared it to loaded french fries. It's low, yeah, low low fries. Thing, but yeah, but it's literally a burrito bowl. With well, mine wasn't because the noodles all over. So, what's the weirdest place you have visited? Mm -hmm. Can't believe it's not coming to mind. Kitten Gala? Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, Kitten Gala, that was probably the weirdest place we've visited in the country so far. I mean, it's. I don't even know how to describe it. It's artsy fartsy. <laughs> it's how I describe it. It's, it's messy art. Yeah. They call it art, I call it a mess. It's unique, I wouldn't go back. The thing is, we are not artsy people. Well, apparently I edit, so. <laughs> but yeah, Kim Gala, definitely the yeah. weirdest place we've visited here. Do we have a backyard? Yeah, we have a small backyard. No, we have a backyard. There's grass it's and trees. Oh, like there's an avocado tree that I'm trying to grow in my backyard right now. It's, it's doing good. Not, I'm pretty sure our onions have been ready in our garden for a really yeah. Since I arrived here, I planted an avocado tree that's growing and a pineapple. Pineapple's pineapple doing good too. And I think our gardener did another pineapple. Because I saw another one. Yeah, there. it's possible. And we have a papaya tree. And a tree tomato tree. And banana trees. He moved the tree tomato tree. It's not there anymore. Weird. But he had, like, I'm pretty sure he moved it. He didn't get rid of it. Um, okay, wow, well, I just got a couple of them. Uh, yeah, we should have done zip lining today. The weather was just, not it got good. to us, and we just chilled. It was gross, and didn't want to do anything. Yeah, we do normally eat supper early. Um, but because I eat again before bed. Yeah, so we normally eat anywhere between 5.30 and 6.30, just yeah. depending. Uh, but then he eats, like, calorie-wise, is basically an entire full meal again at, like, 8.39. Yeah. Like, what about you? <laughs> yeah, actually. You gotta go to work tomorrow, too, so you should. Um, Hi, Bob. Challenging... Sorry. Hi, Bob. Where? Oh, that's... <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Um, yeah, was it challenging to get new barbers while chair styles when you moved into Kenya? A little bit. And here's why. So, like, black people and white people, very different hair. So I needed, is, yeah. I needed to find somebody that knew how to cut my kind of hair. Yeah. So basically, I was able to find this Indian guy because Indian guy have kind of the same, pretty yeah. much the same kind of hair. So I find I found this Indian guy at uh, what Parkland. Was it? Parkland Diamond Plaza, Diamond Plaza Two, yeah. and yeah, he's really good. Like he has yeah. a little hole in the wall kind of he barber shop, really uh, just three chair there, but he, he's doing like a super good job. So. Yeah. And to be honest, this is why I have put, I actually haven't gotten my hair cut here yet. Uh, because of that, like I need to make sure that the person can cut my type of hair. Yeah. And, and like it's very different. Like, and especially to like different. if you want to like dye them blonde more, yeah. that's that's not something that's common. So like Which is why I'll probably wait for the dye until I go home or get my girl at home to re dye. You know. Well yeah. They're by the village market, there's like a spa place that looks pretty good. But, yeah. Yeah. I'll definitely get it cut here. I just yeah. not sure about the dye yet. Congratulations at 48. Do we hit 48? Thanks. Yeah, we did a few hours ago. Oh, cool. 48,000. We're now about 1,950 from 50K. What are we doing at 50K? We need to do some investments. Yeah, that's fair, actually. Maybe I should give 50,000 cash to someone. That'd be nice. That would be nice. Yeah. It's a lot. I'll think about it. I'll tell you said that too. <laughs> uh, 
Um, what would be a culture shock for a Kenyan going to Canada? The cold. It's not really the culture, is it? No, I think the driving would, if you've only lived here, the driving would be very Yeah, the driving, that's for sure. Like, like I mean, you have to follow the law. Because you, you'll get stopped and you get tickets. Like, you can lose your license for, like, yeah. 14 days if you speed too much. Like, yeah. it's, you have to follow the law. Yeah. Um, we love your channel. We are coming out to visit in Kenya from the U.S., California, in a couple weeks. Oh, that's awesome. The small bush plane say they can have a 15 kilogram weight limit. Do you know if this is strict? If the plane is full, yeah, it will be enforced. But to be honest, like most of the time, like those planes are not full uh, because of COVID, probably at this time. Yeah. But uh, I mean, we, we went over like a few times. And like, not gonna lie, normally you're for the Mara at least you're only supposed to have a soft bag of luggage, luggage, and I always take my purple hard case, and they yeah. never send anything. But to be honest, always pack light. Like, especially if you go, like, in the mass yeah. or any safaris or whatever, like, don't bring a lot. Like, it's just, it's going to be much more convenient for everyone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you did see me on. There's another <laughs> one. Do you have to adjust your drone in Kenya due to flight paths? What's that? Do you have to adjust your drone in Kenya due to flight paths? Yeah so, like, where you if, are. yeah, so like, you know, like for, for example, like um, when I, I filmed with the drone in Old Pajetta, I went to uh, the control tower for airplane, right? I asked if I could fly my drone. They told me I could. They told me where and they told me between what time because if they're expecting a plane, then I like, I won't fly the drone, right? Because planes have obviously priority. So I, every time I go somewhere, I know there's a lot of laws in the country, but I always ask, I always make sure that like it's safe and everything. So that's why sometimes there's a lot of drone shots, sometimes there's no drone shot. It's just, it just you know, depends. I'm trying to like keep up with the rules. There's a lot of rules in this country for drones, so. Yeah. Yeah, JC and Peza is totally fine now. We have Impeza options. Yeah, so basically for, well, for new people, yeah. If you go like on top of the, uh, the chat, there's a pinned comment. If you click on that link, Basically, it brings you to a portal. It's a Kenyan company. You enter your phone number, the amount that you want to send, and boom, like you can support us that way through Mpesa. A lot of people already did, which is very much appreciated. Yeah. Anything help. So check out that link. And you don't have to send something. It's actually super cool to, to use. So just like click and check it out. Yeah. Okay, I think it's soon time to go to bed. Yeah. I'm fading. Yeah. Sad. <laughs> <laughs> did throw you off driving on the road to Kenya? Uh, he races them now, it's just not yeah. a good thing to do. Right now, like, yeah. I drive like a Matatu, I don't let them in, I, I'll, I'll race with them, like, it's, like, I, I'm a Matatu. Like, that's, yeah. Except, like, you know, I don't pick up people on the side of the road, but I'm pretty much a Matatu now, so. I adapted well. Too well. <laughs> What's your biggest fear in Kenya? Being stuck in traffic for 12 hours, just like yesterday yeah. it almost happened. Oh my goodness, yes, the bug in this family are in Kenya. Okay, I I know they post like after they're at places, not when they're there, but when they're at draft night, I'm like, you're literally like an hour from us and I had a bang girl moment and I really like this. Yeah. I know. They're like do you we plan to meet them? I would love to meet oh them. Oh my god. But they're like a, they're, they're 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 at the top of the top. Game. They're yeah. top top. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have about two million followers more than us, so it's not, it's not somebody I can just reach out and be like, hey, do you want to like do a collab? <laughs> like, I wish, but... Yeah, I know. Yeah. Anyway, Wait, one last question. What? Advice for young people planning staycation and weekend getaway. Depends what you want to do. Staycation, my t like our type of staycation is getting a local hotel room, yeah. treating it as if you're far away from home as yeah. you are, stay in, get room service, watch your favorite movies. Yeah. Book last minute, as last minute as you yeah. can, because you'll get discount. Literally call the hotel, say, hey, like, what's your price? Okay, what's your best price? Because, like, I'm literally coming, like, in a few hours or tomorrow. Um, you'll get a better price. Even if they say no, just say, perfect, bye. They'll call back. I'm telling you, like, I did it multiple times. They always call back. Yeah. So last minute is a key. Um, and, and, yeah, like, and to be honest, you can bring your own food. If you want to drink you a little, bring your, own wine. bring your own wine. You'll save a ton of money. So yeah. you can literally have a super fun staycation with your girlfriend, boyfriend, friends, or whatever yeah. for really cheap. So last minute, bring a lot of stuff. 
and it's not even too expensive. And on the last minute side, have options in case players are full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So guys, whoa. I'm not closing it. Okay. <laughs> if you didn't like this video, please like it because it really helps us. Uh, once again, we now you can now support us via Mpesa. First link uh, that's actually pinned on top of the uh, the chat. Anything helps. We appreciate everything. And if you can support us this way, once again, just like the video. Keep watching our videos. Tell your friends and family, your dog, your uncle, your cousin, your aunt, everyone that lives on your street and who you work with about our channel so we can keep growing and make better and better video. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you live in Canada and have friends and family from Kenya, Nigeria, or other country, you can check out our Lemonade link down below. It's a new way to transfer money abroad. We tested it, it works super fine, it's amazing. And if you use our code, you're supporting us. And on top of supporting us, you, you get, get cash. Money. We give you money, guys. You get 10% cash back on your first transfer, which is free money, everyone likes that. So once again, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and see you guys in the next one. Bye. Lala Salama, Lala Salama. Lala Salama. Lala Salama. You have, yeah, to, just, you have to go over there and stop it. I stop the camera, but yeah, you people have, are you still have there. To go. there. Yes. Stop. Stop watching. It's it's done. Stop watching. What are you watching? They're weird. They're still there. Why is there still 71 people watching? It's done. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay, bye. Good night, guys.